on the opening day of the amusement parks, which have been closed since October 2019. So for the whole 2020 season, if this was all closed due to the pandemic by New York uh, City and New York State mandate. So we're here on opening day, April 9th, 2021. And I mean, it's a little chilly, a little chilly by the ocean. This is the Atlantic Ocean, by the way, guys, in case you're wondering where Coney Island is. We're in Brooklyn and it's a peninsula. And this is the Atlantic Ocean. There's the beach, boardwalk, the New York Aquarium, and of course, the world famous Cyclone, Wonder Wheel. They're all open. We're gonna go check it out. We made reservations because due to the pandemic, they're at limited capacity. I hope you can hear me. Uh, let me know if you can hear me, guys. Um, I got my mic on. How is, uh, how is the sound, guys? Let us know. Okay, good, good. Because I got the mask. You know, you have to wear a mask. Extra good. Be safe. And I think it's around, um, like, in the 50 degrees or something like that. But there's a big breeze coming from the ocean. Chilly breeze. So it's a little chilly. So let's go downstairs. We're at the West 8th Street train station, you know, subway stop. We took the Q train from 14th Street Union Square. It took us about um, 45 minutes or so. Um, you know, made pretty good time. And let's go. Extra good. Oh, hey, Miss Behaven. Hey, Walking Stanley, thank you for uh, moderating today. We really appreciate it. Josh Gabriel, too. Thank you, guys, and let's go. Okay, so listen, guys, I'm going to take the helm because James is actually going to record this, too. And, I mean, this is a special day for us because Coney Island is one of our favorite places to be. I mean, we've been coming here for years. It's been like our escape to get out of Manhattan. And me personally, growing up in New York, I think I've told you this, but my father was a very big uh, beach bum, I guess you could say. Every summer, we spent an inordinate amount of time in Coney Island at the beach. I mean, I think we were one of the first families we would come out here. I think we would be here at like 7 o'clock in the morning. You know, we would have a picnic, uh, you know, cooler, and uh, we would basically spend the day. So this brings back a lot of childhood memories. At the time, I used to go to Astroland Park. We'll talk more about that once we get downstairs, but Astroland Park is long gone. But this is what's here. We've got Dino's Wonderland, uh, Wonder Wheel Amusement Park, and that's a family-owned amusement park. And then we've got the Cyclone, which is now part of Luna Park. Let me uh, just kind of hone in on that. Uh, the Cyclone is actually owned by the city of New York, and I'm going to talk more about the history of that, too, because this is really a historic place. So let's go downstairs. Oh, by the way, I'll show you. They're doing track work on the subway here. So, um, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, I guess not that odd a time to do subway work, but nonetheless, we got here. So let's go downstairs and let's go have some fun. Oh, and by the way, Oh, roller coaster looks like fun, Leo and see. Joshua Gabriel says the Wendy Will is his favorite. Yeah, my favorite too. And James's favorite. Listen, I want to tell you one other house housekeeping thing. Sadly, we do not have Hudson with us today because for a number of reasons. Number one, we had to take the subway out here, and I don't really like to bring um, Hudson on the train unless absolutely necessary. And number two, it's opening day and it's limited capacity to 33%. And we had to make reservations. I was afraid, um, you know, it's just not the right time and place to bring, to bring Hudson with us today. So let's go downstairs, okay guys? Here we go. I'm gonna pan around. I'm gonna show you the scene. At, oh, and by the way, this is the best stop to get off. You might think to get off at the next stop, which is the Stillwell Avenue shop stop but this is actually the best one west 8th street because then you get those amazing views of the roller coaster cyclone the wonder wheel and here's a train coming in and that's what we took guys the q train so let's head downstairs 
So for the cost of a subway ride, we're out of Manhattan and to Coney Island. Here's another view. Extra good. Another platform. We're doing a lot of work. Wow, they got this one rip, ripped up to shreds. Wow. A lot of track work. All right, oh, okay. Hold on, I got the gimbal, guys. So if it goes a little wanky, that's because that's that's because I'm at the helm today. Oh, hey, Annie P. Oh, we're excited, too. <laughs> Opening day. Extra good. Coney Island, baby. Coney Island, baby. You got it. Lou Reed. <laughs> Lou Reed. All right, so we're going to head out of the subway. Listen, I think these windows need a little cleaning. What do you think, guys? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <sighs> okay, here comes the big reveal. Up the, down the stairs. Hey, let's take the ramp. Why not? That will be smoother anyway. Oh, hey, Bonnie, Badine. Hey, Paul McDonough. Back in Coney Island. Yep. Oh, thank you, Walking Shanley, for the being an amazing moderator today. Welcome aboard, guys. Welcome aboard. Hey, Marilyn. Those windows have been like that for years. Yeah, that's why I showed it. I mean, listen, the subway's supposed to be clean now, but the subway was clean, the actual physical cars, but oh, oh, there it goes. I got to talk more about the cyclone, but I want you to know that that is a very fast ride. It goes 60 miles an hour and the ride itself, I think it takes one minute and 50 seconds from start to finish. It's made out of wood. Oh yeah, it's an entirely wooden roller coaster. No, no, so it's really- The tracks. I mean, the yeah. tracks, you know, not the cars. The uh, clickety clack. Um, is it going to come up again or do we miss that part of it? Oh, I think we missed that part of it. All right, so let's, let's head down to the street level. Okay. I'm going to, for now, just because. Okay, so I'm going to give the gimbal to James for a sec. Yep. I'm going to put this around my neck. J James has also got double duty today because he's got the camera too. Camera life, guys. <sighs> Coney Island. We had to document opening day. Opening day. We come here every year, except last year. I mean, you hey, know, Marna. sadly, the amusement parks were all closed. Yeah, you want to try to get across? Yeah, we got eight seconds. Should we go for it, guys? Yeah, Jim's uh, huff, <laughs> huffing we, across. And we got to make it to the penguins. Yeah. We're not going to the New York Aquarium today, guys. That'll today is video. all about, that will be another video. Let us know if you would like us to visit the Coney, the New York hey, Aquarium. Ralph. Say hi to the penguins. The sea lions, the seals. So if you're interested, let us know because we can uh, plan that for another video. Let us, please let us know in the comments if you would like us to live stream from the aquarium. I would love to for you guys if you're interested. Yeah, we like that. Because you know me, I love the ocean. I mean, at one point I was actually thinking of becoming, you no know, way, uh, oh, thanks, man. oceanographer, I guess. What? Uh, marine biologist. Marine biologist. <laughs> like George. Well, I was a biology major, so. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, guys, but my mom was a medical illustrator, so hence my interest in biology, I guess you could say. <laughs> but I'm also an animal lover, as you know from Hudson. Up, I guess they got just came up the Yeah. No waiting for the first car or the last car. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> No waiting. Hey, Lali. Oh, so. Should we start talking? Oh, look at that little buggy. Right? Outside of Surf City Pizzeria. Jim's cars. <laughs> little orange buggy. Oh, how cute would Hudson look in that? Yeah, that'd be a nice oh, Hudson. Oh, my God. See, we're already missing. Oh, I missed him the whole time. Are you kidding? So, oh. listen, guys. Let's talk about the history of the cyclone, I guess, because we're, yeah, look at we're here. Ah, I want to tell you that 
That is a, a really, really, really old neon sign. No, no, no. Hold on. Show it nicely, James. Thank you. And we have an amazing picture of it all lit up at night. Hold on. We'll wait for the train to go by. Maybe it's kind of uh, loud. So let me talk about the cyclone, okay, guys? The cyclone first opened on 26, 1927. In fact, maybe I should show you guys. Hold on, I gotta unzip for this. Wait, look, guys. I gotta unzip just to show you. I have a shirt, I'm sporting it today. I gotta really unzip to show you from their 85th anniversary. So, as you can know, we're big fans of the Cyclone. Sporting this shirt today. I got I to zip back up though, because it's cold. I, I can't unzip today. It's, it's a little chilly and we got a long day ahead of us, so I don't want to be cold now. So the, the Cyclone, when it first opened, guess how much it cost? Does anybody want to take a guess of how much the Cyclone cost? First opened on June 26, 1927. It's $10 now, show the price, James. Well, when it first opened, it was 25 cents. 25 cents, and the wait time was three to five Let's hours. Let's go back so you can see more of it. Yeah, three, can you imagine three to five hours to ride the Cyclone back in 1927 during opening day? Uh, I can't even imagine. It must have been mayhem. Oh, look at all the news stations here. Wow. Everyone's uh, in the house for opening day, right? Yeah. All right, so here's, the, here's, a, here's some factoids for you that you may not know. There are 12 drops, 16 changes of direction, 18 track crossovers, and 27 elevation changes over the course of the twisted figure eight design that's what it is <laughs> figure eight design it has two trains that hold 24 passengers each and reaches a speed of 60 miles an hour i said that up on when we were up on top at the um at the subway station but 60 miles an hour so it goes really fast the whole entire ride time is only one minute and 50 seconds because of that and the cool thing about the, the cyclone not only is it world famous twisting wooden roller coaster but that the reason for its interesting design is that it had to fit in a small lot it only could take up 75 feet by 500 feet of ground area so that that is why it was designed in this tight tight fashion the really the only reason it was designed is it had to fit in a small little plot of land because you know typical roller coasters like when you travel around the U.S. or even the world, because there's other world famous roller coasters, they're spread out over a much larger like square footage. So they don't, they don't have these twisting tight designs like this one. This one's specifically designed for New York. You know, New York land was even expensive back then. So you had to, you had to get fit, right? And guess how much it cost to build in 1927? $175,000. So that was a lot, a lot of money back in 1927, guys. 175,000 smackaroonies. And it's constructed of 2,640 feet of wooden track on a steel frame, and it's operated with manual handbrakes. Can you believe it? Manual handbrakes. The first drop, show that first drop, James, is 85 feet at a 60 degree angle. Like, this one right here no the, and this 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 yep over here too yeah yep and it's legendary at the at the, the very end of the ride you get spectacular views of the beach and the ocean but i want to tell you something about the cyclone like you think that you know that it's always been popular but au contraire that in 1960 um it in 1969 it was shut down due to shrinking crowds. So for a long time here, I'm going to take the gimbal. For a long time, it was super popular, but then 
then, uh, you know, it kind of fell out of popularity. I mean, Coney Island in general fell out of popularity after World War II because of basically the advent of air conditioning. And automobiles became popular and air conditioning in movie theaters. So people didn't come like to Coney Island in the summertime anymore, you know, to get away from the heat of the city. They drove to Long Island, they drove to Jones Beach. I mean, I know my, my family did too, but we kind of always loved Coney Island. Um, you know, something about it, I guess you could say, that yeah. always drew us back, even though that there were other options, um, you know, to go to. I, my, my family had a car, we had an old, uh, Plymouth station wagon yep. uh, with hideous wood trim. <laughs> it was like a dark green, like with this hideous wood trim. I mean, it was popular at the time, I guess, but um, I always called it the Plymouth. Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Whatever Carla called it the Plymouth. Yeah, I didn't know it was, uh, you know, Plymouth. To me, I was just pronouncing it phonetically. That's how I learned in school, you know, in New York. When you uh, learn uh, the language, um, I learned phonics. So it's like you say things phonetically. So yeah, I called it, I called that car the flying mouth. But anyway, yeah, the cyclone um, shut down due to declining popularity. And um, the, the city bought it, actually. The city in New York bought it. You know, it was originally owned by a family. And when the city bought it, um, they, they, you know, they, they took over ownership, but they bought it for one million dollars in 1971 the city but they didn't do too well, well, great a job uh you know running it because honestly they let it to the ground and they were going to condemn it they were actually going to take this whole thing away they're going to knock it down and uh, thank god that didn't happen it actually it's a landmark now it became a new york city landmark and a national landmark and the city leased it um, for a while to, to Astroland, the owner of Astroland Park, which is some, a place that I'm going to talk about more. There, there is no more Astroland Park, but that was a family-owned amusement park. Astroland, um, you know, they ran it for a while. They didn't, did, did well with it, but then Astroland, um, you know, closed, unfortunately. I'll, I'll talk more about that. And then, and once again, the cyclone was kind of in danger, but the city ended up leasing it to... Zamperla, like the Thor Equities owns it now. I'm um, leased it to Thor Equities, I guess, and they have this um, Italian company, Zamperla, operating it as part of uh, Luna Park. So, anyway, you know, oh, look at that old train. We got an old train running today. Yeah, old subway. Wow, that's pretty cool. Marilyn said the first roller coaster in Coney Island was a switchback railroad. It went six miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, this one goes 60 miles an hour. So it's a far cry from that, that slowness. Yeah, but, we're hoping to catch it going right Yeah, there. I mean, you know, there's not too many people here, to be honest, guys. So I guess they wait until a certain number of people buy tickets to, uh, you know, run it again, you know? Yeah, girl on a curl. That was an old subway train. Yeah. We went through a time warp, you say. Yeah, we did. We did. So, Welcome aboard, guys, to Coney Island, Friday, opening day, 2021. Right, so Astroland Park closed in 2008, but the cyclone remained open. And then in 2011, the management of the coaster was taken over by Luna Park. So, you know, we'll, we'll talk about more about that. But when I said the um, owners of Astroland Park, when they leased the cyclone from the city, I'll have, you'll have to buy and enter at a given, yes, we have, a, we have a reservation, guys, so I, I did that online. The, the way they're doing admission now to the park is you have to get an advanced reservation. I mean, I think they're doing some at the gate, but... Yes, I, Coney Island, Chimbukem. It's at 33% capacity as, as mandated by the city, so only 33% of the crowds can be here versus normal. But, I mean, obviously it's not even at 33% capacity right now. It's, uh, there's not that many people here. Uh, but, you know, we're here. We're here on opening day. So let's go start our journey. Let's, let yeah. me see exactly what time it is. Um, James, do you have your watch? Yeah, let me get it out. Guys. I mean, not your watch. I meant your, um, okay. uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just keep it. I think I'll keep this phone. Yeah, I'll keep it because I'm yep. going to need it for the, to show the admission. 126. Oh, so. 126. Oh, so we have a reservation to go into Wonder Wheel 
uh, Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park anywhere between 1.30 and 2. Yeah, so, so let's head, over there, let's let's head over there. That's our first reservation, so guys. Got his shot at a coaster there. No, he, I think he's pointed up high. Yeah, thanks, so James. if we won't be in the way if we're come over this way. Uh, oh, they're getting ready to go up? Okay. Are they going to blast off? Uh, oh, they're excited. Yeah, he's stabbing. <laughs> okay. Hey, Daryl. Hey, oh, Mariella. They're getting ready. They're going up. Let's get it. One more kiss. Captain Time got his first kiss on the Wonder Wheel. Oh. Oh, oh there you go. There you go. That's what we were waiting for, guys. Are you zoomed in now? Yeah, a little bit. Where's the camera camera? by so fast. Woo. That was awesome. Here he comes. Here he goes. Hey Marion, welcome aboard oh. today. Oh that yeah, was, wood tracks, right Christian? That was extra good, right guys? Yeah. So our patients, Marilyn rode the cyclone in her youth. Yeah, we all have those memories. I ha uh, I'm, I'm glad we were patient. So let's make yeah. our way to the Wonder Wheel. Yeah, let's start. Uh, let's start our journey. Yeah, and it's a real roller coaster. That's right, Captain Time. You betcha. So this is Luna Park right here. We're headed, which we made the first place where we made reservations for, is Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park, because that is not owned by Thor at Equities. That is owned by Dennis uh, Vorderis and his family, um, and it's named Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park for Dino Vorderis, who purchased the Wonder Wheel. And I'm going to tell you the most amazing story about that. But first, I want to get to it. We're going to go up on the boardwalk now because the best way to enter Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park is from the boardwalk. So here we are. Oh, and by the way, I want to announce that the beaches are going to open this year, too. For uh, Memorial Day weekend, there's going to be lifeguards again because last year the beach was closed. So let me show you the scene here on the boardwalk which is a real boardwalk, not like Hollywood Beach. Oh, thank you, um, Captain Time 267. He said, we need these great streams right now. Yes, this is very, very, I mean, it was such a hard year, 2020, with all this close that we're happy to help support, um, you know, the wonderful place that Coney Island is. And, you know, no one at the beach right now, really, but I mean, uh, Oh, Hudson for mayor of New York City, Daryl Jenick. Yeah, well, yeah, that thing if has Hudson legs. had been mayor, I don't, uh, um, I think things would be a lot different now, for sure. But we're hopeful that all these little small businesses, like Paul's daughter, we know the owner here, and all these wonderful places can make it. The Wonder Wheel. We made advance reservations. Oh, they were there this morning. Yeah, there was an opening ceremony this morning. Dino's Wonder Wheel had a blessing of the rides. It's an annual event 
that happened at 10 a.m. Uh, we, you know, we, we couldn't make it out here in time for that. Uh, you know, we had to walk Hudson and take him for a nice walk in the morning, being that we knew we couldn't bring him here today. It's David Carlin. So, oh, David Carlin. hey, how are you? Yeah, how are opening you? day. Thank you. We're here for opening day. Love your hat. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Extra good. You got it. Oh, that was so cute. Yeah. And do you, do you notice he has his polar, polar he's bear one cluster. of the, yes, he's one of the ones that goes into the freezing cold Atlantic Ocean. And throw cup hat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can get better than that. You, you can't, you can't get better than that. All so right. here it is. Here's the tickets to get in. So they're still having tickets at the gate. This is the entrance to Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. So it's at the boardwalk uh, by uh, West 12th Street, um, AKA Dino Vorderis Place. Here's a shot of the Wonder Wheel. Look at that, James. Get the uh, Wonder yeah. Wheel straight on because it, it looks yep. extra good. Looking good. And oh, you can see now the Wonder Wheel. I guess should I talk about the Wonder Wheel? No, I mean, I guess now before we go in. Yeah, before we go in. Or should we go uh, in first? Because uh, we have our little reservations. And yeah, I guess might it's, go in, right? It's 1:30, so hold yeah, on. Let me, let take me that. let me uh, find my phone, and we'll get the reservation. Yeah, it's uh, you, go? you know, you we go got there, a confirmation right? email. So let me um here. Let me find out. Hold on guys, I gotta get Watch out, honey. I gotta get it up on the screen. What I gotta do here. Uh James, can you hold this for a minute? I gotta sure, uh, you got it. I gotta find the email. So hold on guys. I have to find the email. Hey big dog pound, welcome aboard today. Coney Island opening day, twenty twenty one, Brooklyn. Atlantic in the Ocean. House. Atlantic Ocean. Oh wow. Boardwalk. We have so many emails. It's got. Oh, here it is. Um, we have to show this email. Guess to. Uh, let's find out where we show We're it. We're in over here. See reservation line. Reservation line. Please enter here. Okay. 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 Guys, we're, we're just getting started. So here. wait, oh, right that's no, no, that's the standby line. Oh, here's reservation. It's if we have reservations, the, it's the same thing. We have reservations. It doesn't same matter. Thing. Oh, yeah, we yeah. just walked through. He said. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. No, oh, not through, not here. Oh, we right have here. to walk through th this way. We oh. didn't have to. Oh, I got you. See, Jim is, uh, you know. You're confused, James. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. So we got a, we had our reservations. Yeah. So we got waved through. Yeah. Uh, J.A., good. he's not here today. Right. So As let me may. take this. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we couldn't. We could not, unfortunately, bring the old Hudson, Hudson with us because it's limited capacity right now, 33 percent. And although Hudson's allowed in here, and actually, I want to tell you that. I don't know if they're going to have this this year. We know the owner of uh, Dino's Wonder Wheel. Um, it's family-owned place. And we actually, uh, in 20, for the 20, what was it, 2018 season? Or was it 2019? 2018, Or was I it think. 2019? Maybe 2019. I think it was um, April, uh, March 2019. We came here, and we, we were here before the, it opened for the season. And we watch the cars being put back on because every year they take the cars down during the winter for maintenance. So we brought Hudson with us. So they know Hudson. And every year they also have a, a special like dog day where you can ride the, the, the wheel with your pet. You know, it's like a pet day. I don't know if they're gonna have that this year, but let me uh, show you a nice, this is like the best photo of it. Um, James, did you want to get a photo of me? Sure. Too? So hold on, guys. Okay, guys. We're going to do, I'm going to put some selfie mode as well. Uh, Put the one wheel behind you. Okay. Here we go. So. Hang on. James is taking a photo. Very good. Okay. okay, got it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Let me turn it back for, away from selfie mode. Yeah. Okay, good. So, yeah, I mean, I think before we 
Let's just take a little tour around Zeno's Wonder Wheel Park. Talk about its interesting history because... A lot of news people here. Yeah, there are a lot of news people here, but I mean, this is pretty historic because this is the first time that Zeno's Wonder Wheel Park and the Wonder Wheel in its 101 year history, because it's 101 years old now, um, well, you know, this is the first time that they ever had to close. Like for the 2020 season was the first time in its 100 year history that they had to close the one day wheel. Oh, have fun. To, um, thank you, we will. Uh, always a fun time in, in the Wonder Wheel Amusement Park. And it's such a wonderful family owned place. It's really, really great. Look at the carousel, guys. Extra good, everyone having fun. Oh, look, oh, the little kitty. Oh, he, he looks quite big to be on the sea serpent. <laughs> it's more like a kitty roller oh, he's coaster. He's got a little but... toddler in his lap. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the I didn't see the little kid first. I was just like, oh, okay, maybe maybe the uh, you know a bigger roller coaster is too much for him. Hey, some people don't like roller coasters. No. They don't. I, I love them, but not not everybody does. No, that little oh, guy. Oh, Chris is saying she's never been to Coney Island. Oh, you've got to go. You've got to go when you go visit. Oh. Girl in the curl said, thank you. Today is a bad day and this is cheering her up. Oh, nice. Karen uh, says Coney Island is its most beautiful in the cold. Yeah, and yeah. The, least, the least crowded. A little overcast, it's just perfect. It is. So I think we should talk because we're right here about the history of the Wonder Wheel. All right. Can we do that? Can you hold this for I a second, I can hold it. James? Yeah. Good. James is, is manning both helms. Double duty. Double duty. See, we got this one running, guys. Right. So we got... We got a lot of... In this one. Exactly. Oh, look. We, did you get that one? Oh, no. No, I didn't chat. see. Um, thank you so much, Night Worker, uh, for the $5. We really appreciate the Maybe super I should, chat. Um, thank you so much. Do you want me really, to cut this one? Really, really, really helps us. Oh, wait. Hold, hold on. I got to cancel that. There we go. Okay. You want me yeah, to cancel? The Thanks. That's size. a fantastic job. Yes, I'll take the camera. All right. You can... No, no, keep it going for a second. Okay, good. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the Wonder Wheel. Ready, Super guys? job, guys. Dino Voderis, who is this park is named for, the, Dino, the Dino's Wonder Wheel Park, purchased the Wonder Wheel from the original owner, who is the Garms family, in 1983. And his two sons, Steve and Dennis, we know them, and their children run the park today. And I want to just take this moment to tell you the most wonderful quote from Dennis Vorderis told us when we interviewed him about his, about his father. My father loved taking the family to Coney Island and seeing the boardwalk and the Wonder Wheel. He often told my mother, Lula, that one day he would buy the Wonder Wheel for her as a wedding present, a ring so big that everyone in the world would see how much he loved her a ring that would never be lost. Now, is that the most amazing love story gift that you could ever Hang say on. in a million, million years? Like, to buy this as a wedding present for his wife. What happened was, um, Dino Vodaris, since the 1960s, operated a, broad, a boardwalk restaurant, and he managed a kitty park, which he actually purchased in 1981. And what happened was, when the Wonder Wheel was put up for sale in 1983, there were a lot of other offers from other parties that were willing to pay a lot more money. Uh, but the Garms family knew Dino uh, Vorderis, and he knew that if they sold it to him, that he would take care of it, you know, that he would lovingly maintain it, and that it would be majestic just like it is today. And that's why they sold it to him. I mean, they could have gotten a lot of more money from, from other people, but they only wanted to sell it to Dino. And the Wonder Wheel is, is an amazing, amazing structure. It was erected in 1920. So that's what technically, even though they're going to celebrate its 100th year anniversary this year, it's really 101 years old because last year they were supposed to have their big celebration of 100 years, but because it was closed in the first time, they couldn't have the 100 year celebration. So they're, we're going to come back for that for sure. But that will happen in May. And hey, Joe, it's 150 feet high. So here's the little factoids 150 feet high and has a diameter 
of 140 feet. And it holds 144 people at once. And it's a really unusual design because you could see it now. James, maybe you want to, oh, you're yeah, already zoom zoomed in. in. Yeah, I'm, zo I'm going to zoom it in a little more. It incorporates section of curved tracks connecting an outer wheel and a smaller inner wheel. So you see that? There's, like, like, there's um, I'm going to zoom in with this yeah. camera. There's, there's two wheels to it. So it's not just, you know. Oh, thanks, Mighty Bull, for the $2.99. Fantastic job. Oh, Love the little sticker. Thank you so little much, rooster. Mighty Bull. Yeah, Joe, it's up there. So when the wheel. Mighty Bull, fantastic job. I think they're just holding it still now so people can get photos. But when the wheel revolves, the tracks incline and the 16 swinging cars, which each seat four people. You see the, the blue and the yellow and the red and the yellow? Those are the swinging cars. Hey, they, Tomas, they, checking in from Liverpool. Roll, they roll back and forth between the two wheels. And then there's the eight stationary cars. The white cars, you see the white cars on the outer, the outer ring? Those are stationary cars. So if you get kind of get seasick or, you know... Uh, Want to take photos? Right, or maybe not <laughs> as adventurous, then you stay on the white car because those just spin around. They don't, they don't rotate back and forth. Oh, wait, here it goes again. So you'll get yeah, a better let's idea. Let's get a better one. I'm going to focus in on one. So I think that blue one's going to head out to oh, the yeah, outside. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. So they're going to start. Let me, Watch let this, me guys. zoom in on it so you can see exactly. See how it goes. Look at that. Yeah. Hone in on that blue Whoa. one. Whoa. And then it swings. So you see how it's swinging back and forth, guys? And here goes the red one now. So that's pretty cool, right? And you hey, see park coasters. this whole time, those white ones on the outside Chris. part of the ring are stationary. So yeah. thanks, Chris. Oh, okay. oh, no, no, come on over. Yeah. So that's that's how it works. Yeah. Everyone getting a picture taken. Yeah, this is, day. The, this is the best spot. So yeah. all the cars <laughs> give amazing views of the Atlantic Ocean. On a sunny day, you can even see to Jersey. I don't think today you would be able to see all the way to Jersey, but you can also see the New York City skyline. Like, basically extra good, guys. Someone worked at the Brooklyn Aquarium at one point. That sounds fun. Oh, that's extra good. All right, so I want to walk around and... Yeah, and I want to tell you, when it on opening day in um, 1920, guess how much it was to ride the Wonder Wheel? Take 25 cents, just that's like it. the cyclone. Same that's place water. as the cyclone. 25 water. cents, that's it. <sighs> yep. Every year they take each car down and repair them. Right, they, and they refurbish. Right. In the winter months, they, they take them all down. They have a perfect safety record. They've never had an accident at the window wheel. Never, 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 nope. never. And that's just a testament to a family run business because the whole family works here and they genuinely care. I mean, this. The Wonder Wheel was bought as a wedding present, you know, to his wife. I mean, of course, uh, Lula and, and Dino are, have passed away, but their, their children and their grandchildren still run it today. I mean, they... they Subway at the time was 15 cents. Yeah. <laughs> so they genuinely care about it. Oh, look at that one. Here. Oh, here we go. We can get a, yeah. another little view of it going. Yeah, here comes the blue one. There it goes. So we're just really in, unique design. Yeah, right? we're just in love with it. I mean, and it just, I don't know, to me it epitomizes like just the perfect love story, the perfect, yeah. I mean, it's just the perfect family owned business. I can't, I, work, I, I yeah, can't imagine cool New York stuff. without the Wonder Wheel, put it that way. No, you can't, you can't. POV, HFR, trains curving, Colwell, Stitwell. Yeah, we were just up on the, the subway trains in the background. We were just getting Yeah, that's there. how we started our POV. live stream. Yeah, we love that too. You can, when you can uh, hit the replay later and you can watch the live stream from the beginning. That's where we started from. Yeah. So what would you do, guys? Would you take us, would you uh, go for the swinging car or would you rather stay on the white car? Let us know. That's it. Here we go. We got the Hurricane Sandy. Yeah, big problems out here. There's the white one, there's the swinging. Yeah, but you know what? For when Hurricane um, Superstorm Sandy happened, the, the Wonder Wheel was already closed for the season, so it didn't affect it. Not much at all. No. Look at that, POV. 
you know, didn't affect HFR. the actual wonder wheel, you know, right. because they had already removed the cars for right. maintenance. Oh, Let's wow. swing around here. It's really swinging. Yeah, they're really. Yeah. They're really swinging up there, guys. Let me zoom out so you get an idea how high it is. Yeah. So yeah. it's 150 feet tall, guys. Captain Time said, swinging car always. Yeah. That's, yeah. So let me show you guys. So right now, it's ten dollars to ride the wonder wheel and remember when i said when it opened in 1920 oh well, well you know i'm gonna go up there but in, but first we want to show you the rest of the park in 1920 it was only 25 cents yep. but now ten dollars you can get a dino's fun card yes look for 50 credits it's forty dollars. So if you're with a yeah. family, it definitely is worth it to get the fifty credit one because yeah, you bet. then you kind of get you know extra. Yeah. All right. So let's walk. Uh, Want to go down and yeah, come out the other side? Yeah. Let's tour the whole thing. Let's show the carousel. Yeah. Let's show everything because this, to me, we have to highlight Dino's because it's a family-owned business. I mean, it's owned and operated by the family. It's not owned by four equities like Luna Park. It's not owned by the city of New York. This is a family-owned business, and our channel is all about supporting mom and pop. So we, we, you know, when we knew it was opening day today, we said, well, the first place we go is Dino's Wonder Wheel. Off we go. Want to go down the tunnel? Yeah, yeah. and we have to get a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, hey, how are you? Our first is here, our first explorers. Opening oh. day, Coney Island. Pony Island, open and dead. I don't know if they can't hear me, but hello everyone. Uh, oh, good, good. Yeah, you know he's not mic'd up, but we'll put the link in the in the um, description for the video that we met up with a fellow YouTuber has a great channel too. When today? You guys met up? Oh, you're talking about now? Yes, you. <laughs> How are you guys yeah. going so far? Oh, yeah. good. We just got we just got here. You're gonna have to mute. You're gonna have to mute this a lot because you're gonna get copyright. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Over that way? Um, yeah, I went all the way around. Oh, he's, he's telling us there's a lot of copyrighted music. Yeah, there is. I've got to get this park over here. Oh, into Luna Park? Yeah, Luna Park. Yeah, we're, we're going to stay mostly here because I like to support the mom and pop. You know, that one's owned by Thor Equities. So boo to Thor Equities. Sorry, guys, but I mean, we have to support the mom and pop businesses, right? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm a, I have the wireless mic, so that's pretty good. It, it mutes out a lot of the surround, which is good. Yeah, it does, but still you I know. have to mute it on the, the app. Yeah. I will. Thank you. <laughs> He's giving us a heads up that they're playing, a, unfortunately, a, a lot of copyrighted music in here. But, you know, we'll deal with it. <laughs> you want to head under? Okay, so let's head have through. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, the sea serpent. Yeah, the sea serpent. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, so cute. Oh, hey, Yoga Shane. Hey, RJ Wertheimer. Very cool. So let's go. More rides. More excitement. More thrills. Coney Island. Opening day. This way. See you guys. Look at that view with the Wonder Wheel, too. Yeah, I'm going to get a photo. Oh, look at this. James, this is perfect right here. Yeah, here I come. Do we ever get a photo like this? I don't know. It's funny. Sometimes, like, when you're not, you don't think about photos always. There we go. I'm straightening out the gimbal now, guys. The Dragon Roller Coaster. Yeah, Patrick, oh, Patrick says, he. would you go on the Dragon Roller Coaster? James, when you go, you got it right underneath it? Oh, now that, that's great. Oh, yeah. If you go a little underneath it, look, check this out. Look, look. Yeah, See, cut like off the that. top. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Marion said you didn't expect this tonight. Great surprise. Oh, thank you, Marion. Would you film while on the wheel? I'm going to try, Priya. I'm going to try. I'm going to do my, do my best. Like that? Oh, let me see. James is taking, oh, I love it. Great. That's perfect. Do right, you guys. want the, the real camera or you think that one's good? Yeah, this good. is. Good. Okay. Yeah. We have two cameras with us today. I yeah. call it the real camera and then the movie camera. I mean, they're both real cameras, but 
one yeah, of them could, is just the other better, but our professional camera, you, you could say. Right. Well, we can always do that later, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. oh, there's the... Uh... Oh, here's the spookorama. So this is yeah. the way in. See, this way in. Oh, look! A Zoltar and Grandmother's Predictions. What does this say? What does Grandma say? Your answer is here. Coney Island Classic. Look at this. It was manufactured in 1929. Wow. Grandma. Grandma, you've been around for a while here, Grandma. And how about Zoltar? Let's check out Zoltar. No, you're good. Zoltar tells your fortune. There used to be a Zoltar in front of Gem Spa, uh, one of our favorite candy stores in the East Village. Zoltar speaks, see, your fortune. And uh, that's a dollar to, to listen to, to Zoltar. Oh, I think, you, uh, I think you can not, you don't have to use the credits. I think it takes an actual, yeah, grandma's wearing well, uh, Marion said. I, I agree with you. Oh, let's see what's over here. James, wait, <laughs> what's going on over here? Uh, the ghost uh -huh. hunter. One game, a dollar. Two games, two dollars. Defend yourself. Look at this, guys. Oh, a little creepy in here. It's ghost targets. Captain Time says he misses the old... Oh, wait! Look, here comes the Spookerama. They're coming out of it. Oh! That's a spooky ride. Oh! Look at this, guys. Oh, hey, Dutch Mas. Hello, P P POV, because I didn't catch up with you. I'm holding the gimbal now, so. Should we just? Say boo, you can get photos and souvenirs. See, they'll take a picture of you while you're, while you're inside, and then you can. Um... Should I just? Yeah. And then... Yes, well, that's a cool ticket booth. Yeah, lots of cool ticket booths. So we'll, we're gonna just walk around first. We'll get we'll get some tickets to to go on the. Oh, here's the. Let me show the entrance. A great masterpiece of modern engineering. You gotta you gotta you gotta call it for that. Say, look at that. Look, James. This is a cool. Built yeah. in 1920. See, so yeah, all the facts that I always said. And look how much it weighs. I forgot to say that fact. It weighs 200 tons. So that's 400,000 pounds. Right? Yep. A ton is 2,000 pounds, so yep. 400,000 pounds. Wow, look at them go. Look at this view. This is yeah, this is what he must have been talking about. Oh, this is extra good, the music. guys. Oh, yeah, I hear the music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to mute it, right? Yeah. All right, so guys, I think I'm going to have, I might have to mute this a little bit. Or maybe I just keep on talking. If I keep on yeah, talking, keep on I think talking. I'll be okay. Yeah, that's no problem. Listen, I'm just going to call it rapid fire, so that way I don't have to mute. Uh, and let's just show you. Oh, look at that swinging car. Look at that view, James. Here, let me get it. In a, we could just put that one away. Or... Yeah. I'm just going to get this. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is an amazing viewpoint, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to go up. I might have, I might go up by myself and have James uh, stream from the from the ground, me, or vice versa. I mean, I don't know what to take. Real stream, you're right, Dutch man. Real streamers talk over the music. Yeah, that's 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 what I do. I just keep on talking over it, and then it's not a problem. Yeah. So yeah, let's keep on walking around, and I'll. We'll I just made Alexander a moderator. Talking. You let me loose on this thing. Yeah. Alexander, if you don't want it, don't worry. There we go. All right. You want to go down this way? We'll just keep talking. Yeah, we'll just right keep on talking. Right behind us, let's show Spookorama. Spookorama is another historic ride of Dino's hey, Wonder Wheel. Wheel. You can stream on the Wonder Wheel. Yep, Carl's going to get in there. That's what I'll have to do. Yeah, you want to go for it now? or Because it might get busy. Oh, should I just buy a ticket now? Yeah. All right. There's right here. What do you have to do? Well, I just bought, I can buy a single ticket. All right. 
um, <laughs> or I can buy the, oh. buy the, buy the credits. Because oh. I'm not going to, I have Spookorama, I don't think it's no. going to be able to live stream inside the Spookorama. We've done that, we've taken the Spookorama before and, and, and the internet will cut out. But I know I can do, do it from the Wonder Wheel. So let me, let me get a ticket to go up on the Wonder Wheel. What do you think, guys? I think yeah. for sure. Yeah. So hold on, I'm going to buy one. All right, Rebecca, we'll see you in a little bit. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, can I get a, 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 a one for the Wonder Wheel? Just one? Yes. They do have candy hot dogs the whole bit. Oh, keep on talking, Jimmy. I am. Music. Candy hot dog. Carl, you're going to go. Thank you. You're going to go for the uh, swinging. Okay, so I got to show everyone. Oh, thanks, Jonathan Gard, for the five pounds. Oh, Super job. Thank you. I just bought. Carla Tug, yeah. Credits so we can go on the Wonder Wheel. And then yeah. look at this ski ball, too. I didn't. I missed the ski ball. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's go. Let's go check out that sign out. So yep. hold on. And then are, you're going to take a swinging one, I guess. Everyone. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I have to take the swinging one because right. if I don't take the swinging one, they'll they'll be mad at me, right? Did Espo made these, right? Um, I'm not sure if he did, but he might. Um, it might be. It could be. Can you keep that card afterwards? That's all. Awesome. Yes, I'm gonna keep this Everyone's card. Everyone's loving is, the card. This is Captain gonna be time, my yeah. my souvenir card. Look, right. go up. It's great. Uh, yep. you gotta show this. Yeah. Look, guys. Yeah. Look at that. Go up. It's great. White cars do not swing. Red and blue cars swing. Someone called for a blue, but we can yeah, just see what, whatever. Yeah. We're, we're trying to figure out which car I want to take. Let's let's Someone see if I can. Blue. They, they, Swinging. So they want me to take a blue car because we have our yeah. we have our choice. Hey, yeah. don't we know him from one? Yeah. <sighs> I think so. We remember you from remember we um we we photographed when you guys were oh, yes, yes. doing that. Yes, yes, right? Happy New Year! Yeah, happy, happy, happy opening so, day! Yeah. So happy to see you guys open. <laughs> Feels this, good, right? We, we, haven't, we haven't been open for a long time. I am sorry, I forgot your name, but. <laughs> That he, we have amazing photos. We'll put them up on our Patreon page of him installing the cars Thanks, on the Marianne. coldest day. Do you remember <laughs> that? You had to have the, the flame, uh, the flame yeah. thing. It was the coldest day ever. And and we had our dog Hudson with us, and he was like teeth chattering and everything like that. Oh my god. <laughs> we have to drive outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was so. I mean, it could have been the more colder day to like put up the cars that day. We were, I mean, the wind was blowing. It was, it was like, I guess it was in March, right? It probably, I don't even yeah. <laughs> They're saying, ask them which is the best car. Yeah, what is, a, what, what is the best car? Um, we're live streaming now for our YouTube. It, 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 depends, it depends on um, if you want to go high, you want to go the highest. Yes. That's the white cars. Oh, so the white cars, but they want me to take a, they want me to take a rocking car. So I have to okay, pick a blue or a red. That's swinging. That's, right. Those are swinging yeah. Cars. Yes. They, they don't go up as high, but what they do is when they get three quarters of the way up, they swing them out and then come back in right. and then go nice. around. So what I'm saying is, if you guys want me to go up the highest, then I can't take a swinging car. I have to take the white car because yeah. that's on the outer ring. You see, it's like we were, outer, outer edge. right, that's on the outer edge, while right. the red and blue cars are on the, on the inner, on our inner way. So. You let me know. You, we're going to do right, an informal vote. Quick pull, swinging or highest. Right, so you tell me, and then I'll do it. It's your choice, yeah. guys. We got two white cars, a swinging. So it's a split decision. Oh, swinging. They swinging want. They highest. want to see me swing. They think I'm going to throw up, but I won't. I don't. I don't get. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't get seasick. I don't get. Oh, then you'll be all right. Yeah, I'm. Then you'll be okay. I'm, I'm yeah, fine. You'll be all right. Most people. Most people. As soon as it moves, they scream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's over for two, two seconds. I know, <laughs> I know. Okay. But, yeah. you know, that's the fun of it, right? Yeah. Oh, well, right. it's so good to see you. Nice seeing you. Nice yeah, see you. if I see DJ, I'll say hi to him. You see, he must be floating around, right? DJ is right there. Oh, he 
he's operating. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, right. awesome. I'll definitely say uh, hi to DJ too. Thank you so much. Here you go. Um, okay, so you're gonna film me. Let's yeah. go. Oh, so um, yeah, let's uh, let's I enter didn't get in. him with this, but that's okay. Oh, but you'll get me with DJ. You're gonna okay. come in, but you won't get right. on. You know what I mean? All right. That's what we'll do. So right. everyone's saying swing, swing, swing. Okay. All right. So tell people like the idea of highest, but swing looks like it's winning out. Swing looks like it's winning out. Okay, so oh, there he goes, right? Swing it is, right? What are you waiting for? Uh oh, look. Come on over for a small fee. Daughter will give you a wealth of wisdom. Oh, there he goes, honey. <laughs> Good. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, so here we go. Let's let's enter in. Oh wait. wait. This way, Jimmy. Why are you telling me this way? I don't know which way. It... It's this little the main. It's over way. here. I, I got Jimmy you all turned around. Me to go the wrong way. This is he's so silly. I gotta figure out what card. I want to go back and get you in it. I got it. I got my cards. I'm all set. <sighs> oh, James! I don't need the photo bag. All right, I got Do you it. Mind taking that? I got it. Who needs a bag, right? I'm gonna be stuck on it. All right, so let me sanitize. Even though I'm not really touching anything, so I'm probably I'm probably fine. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yes. Would you like swinging or no swinging? I would like swinging. My, I'm live streaming, and they voted for swinging. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, James, can, is it okay if he just filmed? He's not coming on, but if it's okay, he films me. James, it's okay. Come, is it okay if he films me from over here? Yeah. Oh yeah, James, come on over here. He's not gonna get on. I'm gonna get on, but <sighs> so DJ, Thanks, right? Yeah. Do you remember? Um, my husband and I were here. You guys were putting up the cars like um, yeah. like two years ago. It was freezing, freezing cold. Yeah. So we wanted to say hi, welcome back. Uh, we missed you guys last year. We're so happy. Uh, this is DJ. He's the grandson, right? That was, wait. Yeah, yeah grandson. I'm trying to make sure I got the years right. Of Dino. Who oh, was? So. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Way. So let me. Oh, wait. I know. Which, which, which one? Should I go this way? Which is the better view? Okay. He's saying go in this side. Okay, guys. Oh, no, nice she's to see you too, JJ. Thank you. Okay. He's like, get in, get in, get in. Okay. Here I go, guys. He's like, stop talking. We gotta get going. All right, I'm I'm buttoning up. He said it's gonna be cold up there. <laughs> so I'm in the car. Listen, the cars are very, very, very clean. They're keeping extra safety precautions. Oh, uh, this is kind of cool because I'm actually going backwards too. So, and I can turn around and. Go the other direction too. Uh, so I mean, uh, oh wow, I can barely see. My glasses are fogging up. Here we go. I'm gonna try to get this straight. Oh my! Woo! Oh my God! I'm swinging already, guys. <laughs> oh, the gimbal doesn't know what to do. The gimbal's going crazy. It's just like, it's trying to keep it level, but I'm swinging, so it's it's so confused. The gimbal is very confused. Let me, let me show you from this way. <laughs> oh, your first kiss was in the blue car. Oh, and you that girl oh yeah Chris right the gimbal is doing pretty well for what it is right look at that oh where's Hudson oh Hudson is at home manning the helm in our apartment Hello. we didn't want to bring him uh, you know because they're trying to maintain everything at 33 percent capacity guys and just be extra good about stuff so 
Um, you know, we didn't uh, we didn't want to bring him with us today. Maybe on another day. Oh, I want to show you guys. Look, can you see that? They're building a new. Um, let me let me try to hold on the gimbal. Out out here, through the gate. They're constructing a new roller coaster. Oh, we're going up again, guys. So let me get ready. Here we go. We're going up again. I could actually have probably held the camera as well. Could have probably done both. Here we go. Up, up, up. Oh, I like this view of the Wonder Wheel. See, I'm right by the sign. Oh, Philip Parisi says this makes me so happy. Paul McDonough, the Phoenix ride. Yes, that's what it is. It's a new roller coaster that they're building. You see it, right? There it is. It's the, um, let me show it down below. Right there, they're building it. Yeah, John P says it's going to be great when I swing out, right? Oh, we're getting high, guys. Oh, I know. Oh, it's not the same without Hudson. And Gene stayed below so he could fill me up top. So I'm missing him already. Oh, there's the red car swinging. Do you see that, guys? I mean, it looks really pretty on on a, a, a more clear day. There's the Verrazano Bridge. Can you see that, guys? Wait, let me try to show you through the... Um, can you see? I don't know if you can see it through here. Let me try to... It's, it goes blurry because it tries to focus on the bars, the camera, but that's the Verrazano Bridge. And then you can see, oh, I see the World Trade Center. I see it. I see it, guys. Can you see it? I'm trying to back up. It's right there through that little, through that little hole. Yeah, the white cars go even higher than, than this. Let me, let me swing around. Okay, here we go. We're going to start swinging again, guys. Oh, nighttime would be cool. Yeah, we'll definitely have to come back at night. Here's the red car. I'm just showing you all around. See, like I said, the swinging, it doesn't bother me, guys. I mean, honestly, nothing really... Oh, here we go. We're going to swing again. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the swinging, to be honest. I, I don't mind it at all. It's lots of fun. Yeah, let me go the other way, he's saying. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you the swinging from this direction. <laughs> I'm still swinging a little bit, but it's, it's slowing down. Oh, Captain Time loves it. All right, I hope I'm doing a good job with the gimbal. It doesn't know what to do when we start swinging. It goes a little, a little crazy. Oh yeah, so here they are working on the new roller coaster. Now you can really see it. Oh, Brooklyn girl said she'd be plastered to the floor. Oh no, it's, it's, I mean, I don't know. It's, it, it was so much fun. Oh, here's the wheels, the grinding, we're all done. That was amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I get to I get to go again. Extra good. Hi Jimmy. <sighs> I get to go I get to go right uh, around again, which is super nice. You know the owner knows us, so <laughs> I got two for the price of one. <laughs> I lost track. <laughs> oh, and I thought I was getting something extra special. <laughs> Look at how it, now you can really see how it's, how it's moving back and forth. <laughs> oh, look, you can see the, the teacups going down now now. Oh, this is an extra fun. Yeah, I feel like a kid. <laughs> 
But I feel like the Wendy Wheel is ten dollars. Yes, Dutch Mass. But if you buy, if you buy fifty dollars worth of credits, so that it, I mean, then it's only forty dollars. So then you could save ten dollars per single ride. But if you buy, um, Tiana um, Rodriguez, if you buy fifty dollars worth, it only costs forty dollars. So you can actually, uh, a whole family can go and it will actually cost you less than $10 per ride. So let me show you the scene again. Here we go, there's the subway that we took to get out here. We took the Q train and there's a uh, views of Manhattan. There you go, extra good. Here, we're gonna go high again. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you me swinging back and forth. Oh, you remember going there? I'm sure. Oh, you need is popcorn and cotton candy. Yes, Captain Time, you got it. This reminds me of Cloverfield, Jonathan Powell said. Christian Nanity said, uh, two revolutions. Yes, it always does that. Uh, let's see what else I missed. Hello, Halil. The cyclone ride was 25 cents. Yes, it was, John, when it first opened in 1920. That's when it first opened. Oh, Brooklyn girl said she remembers going on with your mother when she was little and she specifically asked us not to get in the swing car, but they gave us a swinger and it traumatized her for life. Oh no. Oh, John Ganoshi, very sad for me to see this. No, this is a happy day because they're back open. Oh, you were waiting for Godzilla to show up in the movie, Patrick saying, oh God. No, no Godzilla's on a board. It is windy up here though, guys. It's a little chilly, but I'm dressed appropriately. I got layers on. I'm prepared. I come prepared for Coney Island. I know that, that it's always at least 10 degrees colder. Do you see the city, guys? Do you see? I don't want, I can't zoom in because then it like hones in on the, um, the bars of the car. But there's the World Trade Center. There's downtown Manhattan. That's where it came from. It took 45 minutes on the train. Yes, POVHFR says the subway is an attraction onto itself. You're absolutely right. So I'm going to pan around more. Oh, thank you, Captain Time. This is so much fun. I'm, I'm spinning all the way around. I'm going to give you, it, this is like a 360 virtual reality, but it is reality. Reality, opening day. horizontal bridge I'm panning all the way around so you get the whole scene oh no Ahmed he says the heights bringing him anxiety it's 150 feet high are you gonna go on some other rides oh well yeah we'll see why not the swings there's a cyclone in the distance oh yeah Patrick saying you'd hate to have Godzilla show up oh I wouldn't want Godzilla showing up either because I got to get home to my my Hudson <laughs> our, our boy is waiting for us back home. I can't have anything happen to me or James. Oh, Big Dog Pound says, please smash that like button for James and Carla. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think, I mean, I actually, she, DJ was right. And that's the, grandfather, the grandson of the original founder of Wonder Wheel, uh, Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park. He's saying that it does get chilly today up high, and, and he was right. He was right. So here's their new Thunderbolt roller coaster that they're constructing. They got lot, it's like a jigsaw puzzle right now. They got all the pieces on the ground. Oh, yes, you would like to see, you would like to see Hudson. You know, I'm, I'm going to fact, I'm not going to ask DJ if they're going to have do the special dog um, day. This, you know, I'm not sure if they're going to have that this year or not. Let, let's ask DJ real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just going to ask DJ. DJ, are you going to have the dog day where you, you can bring the dog? Um, I'm not sure you, they, we'll see how the numbers go. We'll see how things go. Yeah, we'll because to that's right. Because everyone's like, where is that? I know, I, I know. That's what I was saying. I was telling people, I'm like, I don't know if they're going to have it this year because of the limited capacity and everything, but we'll be there if you do. But thank you so much. So listen, guys, I went on number three. So that's in case you want to, the same view that I had, number, car three, blue. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.
So let me show you. And I want to tell you something else they did this morning, which was really, really, really nice, is that they gave away um, free rides to 100 essential workers, which was really, really, really nice. Hey, James. Where's James? I don't know if he wants to get... Jimmy? Oh, hey. It's out of battery. So. This one's out of battery. Oh, okay. Yep. I, I got it. Yep. There's our menu over here. Yeah. Okay, so let yep. me put in a new battery. So hold yeah, on. Yeah, right here, right here. This one's out of battery? Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, keep talking. How was that? That was great, right? Oh, so good. Oh, yeah, you want to want me to change it? Yeah, let's go over there. Yeah. Wow, how did that get out of battery so quick? That's crazy. I guess because it's colder. Yeah. So I got to keep on talking, guys. Yeah. Or just, uh, I got you from both sides. Oh, good. The second time around, I got you over here. First, I was waving to you out there. Oh, I didn't even see. Yeah. Here, honey, right here, if you want. Not too much music right no. here, right? Okay, here. so hold on, guys. I got to change the battery. Yeah. Hey, guys, everyone's checking in. Opening day, Coney Island. Joe, I filmed Carla riding. Maybe later on. I'm looking forward to the food today. You know that. So this is the scene. Oh, that's uh, strange, Yeah, James. Huh? I went through that old bag. Soup to nuts. Like a, you know, like a ferret going through there. Couldn't find a thing. Nope, um, take off your backpack. Sure. Yep, guys, we're just dealing with battery stuff. You know that, right? That's, uh, that's uh, camera life. Yeah. Yeah, allergies this time of year. POV, HFR was talking about allergies. I get them bad, right, hun? Bad. Yeah, I don't, you know. So we'll use that one then. No, no, there's two batteries in here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It only yeah, needs but I'd rather, one. Okay. Carl, I'm gonna yeah, I gotcha. duck around the corner real quick. I gotcha. Hold on. Here you go. This lettering is just sick, right? The oh painting. my god. Extra good guys. Yep. Alright, here you go. Let me just put this away. Uh, just give me a second. I don't want to lose this one, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, no, yeah, the, the other battery. Hey guys, everyone, just getting started Coney Island. Yeah, these signs are great. All right, we got yeah. two shrinks on that. Look at this. Who doesn't love a hot dog with gloves and a chef hat, right, honey? Yeah. Let me put this on my back. Okay. And I'm going to duck around the corner. I think there's a right here. Good. I'm going to check out some of the signage right here, James. Oh, so that was so much fun. Uh, Mesmo Land said, here in England, we have Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh. And um, is that open now? Um, because I know that there's, you know, a lot of lockdown issues in the UK. So uh, tell us what's happening for the summer season in Blackpool. Say cheese, souvenir photos, tickets. Oh, extra good. So it's a little chilly, but lots of fun. Oh, definitely Nathan's. You know it. We have to get a hot dog from Nathan's. I'm going to talk about the history of that, too. And I love their crinkle cut fries. Well, look at this, guys. Extra good. Just pure sweetness, really. So, 33% capacity. That's what your, um, it's, it's uh, at, you know, for Dino's Wonder Wheel Park and also Luna Park as well. If you can't, it's, I mean, it's not crowded, as you can see. I don't think they're even near 33% capacity. I mean, it's a chilly day and, you know, it's a Friday, so some people have to, you know, show up for work today. They can't come to the opening day. I mean, maybe tomorrow for the weekend it will be more crowded, but right now it's not crowded at all. So 
I would definitely say very safe for you to come out here and enjoy Dino's Wonder Wheel Park and Luna Park or Coney Island on the boardwalk. All extra good. And it's only going to be open on the weekends, though, until Memorial Day. So if you want to come out here during the week, it's going to be closed. Today is the only day on a weekday that they're actually open. Otherwise, it's just going to be on the weekends through Memorial Day weekend. And then Memorial Day weekend after that, they will be open seven days a week. Oh, the fun fair is a timeless piece preserved from years ago. It's been so looked at as a friendly business. Oh, cool. Are you a ketchup on the side or ketchup on the fries? Chris, ketchup, um, I like to dip it. Um, side. So ketchup on the side, definitely ketchup with our french fries. We're gonna, side does. We're gonna definitely get some Nathan's ketchup, but um, yeah. Nathan's french fries and hot dog. But first, let's just check out this Dino's wind, water racing fun. Let's see if any, oh, they're gonna play it, play it now. Oh, so let's go, like, yeah. yeah, let's go check it out. I That'll be fun. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is? I bet it is. Maybe not. No. I don't think so. No. Oh, see, they're Yeah, they're Pat, clean. ketchup on the side, they're you know it. Clean and everything. Wiping it down. That's great to know. Yeah. People running around filming even that, right? <laughs> so they got they got all kinds of stuff. Did we miss anything in the back over there? Well, we didn't go all the way to, towards the back because the music was so extra loud. Yeah, so. I think, um, you know, I think we got a lot of the gist of it, you yeah, know. Yeah, as long as spook around in the That's wheel. That's the show, is it? No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Well, we thought we recognized this girl who's taking video, but... It's, uh, Guys, we're having fun out here. So I was just telling Chris everybody. Chris Bates likes to catch up messy on the fries. See? Yes. See, that's why you, that's why you need all that stuff. So I was telling yeah, everybody that good. even though it can be 33% capacity, I think that you know it's not even close to that. There's a lot of Coney Island Explorer. Why don't we get a? Yeah. Oh, there go there goes. That's a, where you were. Yep. I was on car number three. Yeah, the blue car. Yeah, car, I, I checked out the number for posterity. I got it from the ramp and then on the side. Oh, I look, it's more sanitizing supplies. Yep. So yeah, that's really good to know. Guys. It's really spotless. Yep. I mean, nobody should be nervous about their safety. Everybody's masked up. Coming here. You know, it's totally, 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 totally safe. Totally great. Yeah. Extra, yep. extra, extra good. Yep. Um, yeah. Has anybody taken the tilt world? people oh god that, thing. that that is not my favorite ride to be perfectly yeah, honest guys i love the wonder wheel i love the whole story about the wonder yep, wheel Every, back. everything about yep. the wonder wheel yeah <sighs> yeah here you go yeah that's more that's my more my speed yeah did we go to that what's the happy fishing did we check Let's that see out what happy fishing is. yes really nice day here Oh. Yeah, he's getting his boat. Oh, I know what we thought they have. They have, do they have, they have bumper car rides over there, too. Oh, and I wanted to check oh, out. Oh, you want to go see, all the way through? Um, no, I wanted to check out to, to see what their t-shirts were. Do they have a yeah, hundred years? Yeah, we might as well go all the way through. I mean, we... Oh, okay, yeah, why not? Yeah. Guys, before we leave. Oh, let's go this way first. We'll go oh, around yeah, yeah, the yeah. long way. Guys, we're getting our bearings. Yeah. Chris Bates, a kid at Danbury Race Arena. Oh, look. Oh, they gave me fries that way. Yeah, is that where they had the Danbury State Fair, guys? Look at this fire engine Classic now. fire engines. Look, Look at how old they are. This is a 1950s ride. I like that, that they have the little signs that tell you what, yeah. what are historic. Look. Yeah, these are great. There's, this is all historic. And look at the hand-painted look. Oh, can you? I'm missing Hudson now. Look how yeah, no. cute Hudson would look, right? Yeah. Chris is saying the puke world. I, I agree on that one. Oh, let's go see this one. This is another old ride. Oh, yeah. How old is this one here? 1950s as well. 50s. The pony cart. Oh, extra good. Pony cart ride. You don't oh, see these. Oh, this is sweet. This is yeah. sweet for the little kids, you know? Yeah, that's really nice. What else they got here? These look original also. Yes, I think this is definitely an original these rockets, ride. These rockets, yeah. Let's see if it has a little sign. I bet over there. Yeah. Oh, this one's temporarily closed, but this is from the 1950s as well, this yeah, boat ride. Yeah, all these ones. Like you're in the little water. And then you can ring the bell. 
Oh, yeah. look, look. Yeah. That too far was too tall. Oh, I can't. I can't go on it. Can't go on it. That's see about it. her speed, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see how old this, this Captain America looking thing is. Oh, look. this is definitely an old ride. Oh, circa 1950s also. Chris Bates, I was at the Sky Fighter. Very last pack day of the Danbury State Fair, whatever year that was. Oh, the we carousel. the very last day. Wichita, 72. Kansas. Is anybody in the chat that's from Wichita, Kansas? Because that's where this Ferris, this where, that's where this carousel was made. The Kansas Massive checking in. <laughs> you had a Flash Gordon, that's what it is. Very nice job, Captain. Boy, if this doesn't say things are looking up in summer, I don't know. You know, the mood is bright. Yes, this is extra good, guys. Yeah. Uh-oh, another ride I can't go on, look. Yeah, look, too tall, huh? No, you can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> oh, but look, he can. Yeah, he can be on it. it. Yeah, he's good oh, to I was go. just saying that, look, I'm too tall. <laughs> All right, so you want to go? Another one. <laughs> yeah, the monster trucks. Want to go through and just tour the whole thing? Yeah, why not? Oh, right. look at these. Yeah, those are <laughs> those are newer, huh? Oh, that's so cute. The dizzy <laughs> dragons, huh? Dizzy dragon, old railroad cars. Look at the track. You know we like that. Show a detail of. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. Look at the hand painted. Look at yeah. how nice that is. Yeah, look at that. So beautiful. Each oh. one done with care. Yeah, look at that. Got the Taj Mahal. Oh, this one's extra good. Look at this one. Uh, this has the, it's uh, Captain Morgan, right? Looks like a Captain Morgan. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Extra good. Oh, Chris Batesworth works with four hotels in Wichita. Oh, no way. That's, that's close enough, Chris. <laughs> That was Wichita. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, so let's just do a quick run through and just show the whole Wonder Wheel Park. Okay. And then we'll move on. Perfect. Yeah, you got the sea serpent up there. We saw that. That's a little mini roller coaster. Yeah, and I saw a lot of the rides from up top of the thing too, which was yeah. which is lots of fun. Yeah. And oh, cool. I still got my card, so. Yeah. I got my reloadable yeah. card. Now we tuck away, tuck in a picture frame and. Oh yeah, and I want to see if there's t-shirts for sale oh, commemorating yeah. the hundred years. Yeah, yeah, there is. Now we're gonna, I'd like to buy Carla's one. Carla's gonna rapid fire talk all the way through here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on talking, 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 talking. Yeah, look at this. People now the now the wheel's getting busy. Yeah, right? it is getting busier. So you were right to go when we did. Yeah, you just hop right in. Yeah. Off you go. <sighs> you got Nathan. But yeah, I had a great time. It was great. so much fun. <laughs> We're just gonna talk over this. Oh, hey! Hey, thank you. Look, I'm gonna try to talk oh over this. God, We're gonna just show it. We'll get flagged. Okay, We're gonna get flagged. We're not gonna get flagged. We're not gonna get flagged. We're not gonna get flagged. Nice hand washing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We're manic over here. Oh, that's the last part. We gotta show this. Yeah, yeah this is great. We can't get flagged here, guys. Oh my god! Let's talk oh. about it outside. Okay, let's. Should we just uh, mute it for a little bit? Yeah, let's. Okay. Uh, let's get out. Okay. Because we could. Oh, we gotta go out this way, right? Okay. All right. Okay. There's the oh Matterhorn. Remember that? Oh, that's crazy. Thunderbolt. Okay, let's keep on talking. Let's yeah, keep we're on gonna talking. get through this. Keep on talking. Right here, I think. Keep on All talking. Over here. Keep on talking. Keep yeah, on right talking. Okay. Go. Yeah. Oh my God. There we go. Still. Oh, look at the bowling lane sign oh, now. Rama having his lunch. Oh, get this, James, James. Oh, yeah, this is great. You want to get a picture of that one? Yeah, but we'll do that after we turn off the, uh, the we'll have to mute yeah. to get a picture. Yeah, let's, oh, so much to look at, guys. Oh, my God. I think we're getting away from the music. Yeah, we have to get away from the music for Oh, a look bit. at this. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that. These are the original. You should get a guys. picture of this, babe. Carla, get a picture of the whole booth. Boot. Okay. Uh, with the other camera? Okay. Okay, why don't, uh, I'm going to just mute myself while I take All a right, picture. All right, I got it. 
There we go. I'm gonna mute myself. Okay. We're gonna change cameras now. You know. Okay, I muted myself. Do I need to be muted too? No, you get to keep on talking. All right, I'm gonna keep talking, guys. Keep on talking. Why don't We're you gonna go get our other there? camera out. Yeah. Well, I wanna take the bag from you. Just stick that camera in there. No, I can't. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Give me. All right. All right, here we go. Coney Island, guys. Look at this. Carlos getting a picture. People are starting to pile in. I don't know if they can hear this, the music. So I'm gonna keep talking. Carla's shooting, we have two cameras. Hey, Carla, Carla, get those two. Yeah. Yeah, the signage is great. Mexico, hola, Mauricio. Yeah, they are, Pat, right? I mean, you can't. Yeah, Dutch word for router, right? Coney. Good. Can't hear the music too good. That's great, Annie Pete. Thanks for that. Yeah, right, Christian? Yeah, thank you guys for coming along. Yeah, these guys are opening up a little booth right here. Carla's getting some pictures. Guys, this is great. Coney Island opening day 2021. Yeah. Hey, Mr. D, Denise. Oli New York checking in. Thanks for watching us coming on board since Florida. Yep. T-shirts, Coney Island, go hand in hand. Carla's trying to get a little picture. Here she comes. Here she comes. Right, Ash, 207. Fun day here, Friday. Coney Island. Wonder Wheel. Here, go ahead. Yeah, I got the swing going too. I know. I got the swing going. Oh, this is a cool. Yeah. This is a cool video. Wait, let me. Uh... Oh, hi, Mr. D's in the house. I see it, the big hammer. See the swing going up.
Hey, Carl. Carl. Turn your mic on. Getting some work done. Turn your mic on. Oh, oh, yeah, my mic isn't on. Yeah, and then try to capture that like this, but still. Okay, hold on. I gotta turn my mic on. I, I yeah, didn't guys, we're mics on. Hi to everybody, but I'm muted yeah. off. Yeah. There you go. You're back in business, wow. everybody. All right. I think I might have turned it off altogether. There you go. I think Carlos in business. Now you gotta get me. In. Oh, there. I'm. I'm on. I. I unmuted myself. Yeah, and then. Um, Are you muted also? I'm gonna see if you're showing up. You're showing I'm up. Showing I'm showing up. up. Yeah, okay. good. Okay, here we go. So you need me to get more pictures? You said. No, no, it's fine. Okay. I got it. Let's roll along. So you want to weave around and come back out to the boardwalk? Yes. All right. All right. That's See, that's Luna Park. Right. That's a different, that's at a different museum park. Yeah. I mean, Luna Park has the cyclone. But, I mean, to be honest, I'm really a big proponent, and James too, obviously, of Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park. Yeah, you can't go. Because it's family owned, whereas Luna Park is, all, is operated, uh, is owned by four equities. Right, want to show they, the front of Luna Park? Yes. All right. I have both cameras, by the way. Okay, so let's put one away. Oh, wait, wait, is this the Guardian Angels? Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, here come Guys, I think these are the Guardian Angels. Yeah. Um, let me, uh, you know, uh... Yeah, get a picture. I'm going to come around this way. Here they come. Oh, that's nice to know. We're very yeah. safe. We got the Guardian Angels. Extra yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, get a picture. Oh, yeah, Maybe can I... Go. Thank oh, you, thank sir. you. Yeah, we know you guys from right. East Village. So, oh yeah. yes, that would be great. Hold on. Get everybody get together. Here. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I got. <laughs> I got so many cameras and so you many don't things. Know. Okay, let me make sure it's go. on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. I'm waiting for the bin man. Go. Look, it came out. Oh yeah. Great. Actually, good. We'll tag you. We'll tag thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, that was so that was nice. so sweet. Curtis Sweeler, right? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, extra good. Coney Island. You couldn't get. You can't. Uh, right, Mary. You can't be more authentic than. Let's see how this looks from the front. More music, you know. Two cameras strapped around. Yeah, we're gonna put this one away. I just want to show them to be the front of Luna Park here. Yes. Wait, what's going on? Yeah, right they're still back? around, Tanny. This All right. Right here is yep. good. Let me get out of your way. Wow. See, it says Luna. I think Luna. I hear you right in music. Yeah, over me too. Here. So I'm going to keep oh talking God. and yapping along. Yeah, it's coming in through the windows. Yeah, let's so go. let's move away. Yeah. Let's head down the next thing. So I'm going to give you a little history. I'm going to keep on talking over this copyrighted music. The founder, Curtis Sweel, is running for mayor. Yeah, we saw that. He gave us, it says that on the card, on yes. the Guardian Angels. Yes, that was really nice that, that they stopped. You know, I think people are ready for a change. Oh, Rebecca, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, In honor of Guardian $10. Angels and Curtis Sweel, you got uh, a yeah, silo. got a photo. We'll, we'll put it up on our Patreon page. Yeah, oh. look, a little remnant, honey, of the old Coney. Oh, look at this. This looks great. Come here. Yeah. Look at that whole vista of the yeah. Wonder Wheel through the... Yeah. Back in the day, guys, I mean, this is almost breaks my heart because back in the day, these would all be open. Oh, Luna is the name of Christian from Lunar One Record Store's Little Dog. Oh, wow. Awesome. Thanks, Christian. So, listen. Thanks, you, Rebecca. That's a fantastic job. Yeah, we really appreciate the channel support. And, uh, you know, we put it right back into either getting supporting these mom and pop away? places no i'm good but i want to show you that this building is for sale back in the day when you come to coney island all these would be filled with little games and concession stands like all these buildings but what we happened will. is back you know from i would say from 1880 to world war ii was the height of coney island in fact there was three amusement parks luna park steeplechase park and dreamland 
The original Luna Park closed in 1946 due to decline in popularity of Coney Island because what happened was when air conditioning was invented and gained popularity after World War II, people stopped coming to Coney Island. So it fell into a period of decline. People started just going to the movie theaters because they had air conditioning. They would take their car when they had air conditioning to go to the beach at, at Jones Beach State Park and uh, places on Long Island, and they didn't come to Coney Island anymore. But if you came here back in the day, this was all full of various rides, concessions, what have you. So the original Luna Park, which was built like it was like a Moorish architecture it was really, really gorgeous. I mean, I never saw it. I'm not that old, trust me. Yeah, they said um, the lights you could see from. Yeah, it was full of incandescent lighting and it was a Moorish architecture. That closed in 1946. And then Steeplechase Park closed in 1964. But what happened was another park called Astroland Park opened. That, that was the rocket we saw. <laughs> that was the rocket that we saw inside. So that's what I'm kind of going back into the history of Coney Island because you know I love giving the history and you know, I love reading up on history. Yeah, we're gonna go back and swing back by where the rocket used to be. <laughs> right, but what happened was Astroland Park was, you know, a, like another amusement park that opened when some of those other original amusement parks of Coney Island, um, you know, fell into a state of decline, you could call it. Yeah. And my memory of coming to Coney Island, with my dad especially, because that's who really enjoyed Coney Island, was, was my dad. Sure. Um, he was like a beach bum. You know, he was a longshoreman, so he was always like being by the water. And he also liked being by the beach, and we would kind of play hooky together. You know, um, some days when you're, when you're a longshoreman, some days, you know, you show up for work, but there's no boats, you know, to, to offload. Like, you know, there's no ships coming in, container ships. So there's nothing to do, so you could leave. And I would go with him to work. And if there was nothing going on at his work, he would be like, ah, let's just go to Coney Island. You know, I don't have anything to do. So I would just go in the station wagon with him and we'd head to Coney Island from, from, the, um, from the port of Newark. And we'd spend the day here. So, that was, uh, you know, uh, I, I think that was that was my memory of the, of the always being in Coney Island. Let's cross. So all these oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he was he was a fun guy. World War Two vet. Yep, my dad fought in World War Two. There's some uh, and. He just instilled this love of Coney Island that I, that I carry with me, you know, today. Yeah, this is the suspended coaster. Someone asked, uh, right, this how's is this new, coming along? A new, uh, it's called, it is. I, it's a new coaster that they're building um, inside Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. And I believe it will be open this summer. So we'll check in on it for sure, on its progress. Someone's asking where all these things closed before or after the pandemic. Um, well... I mean, during the pandemic, this was all closed. So not, nothing, none of the amusements, none of the really yeah, the concessions we some... were open because New York City made them close. Oh, there's more yeah, copyright more music. music here. Oh my God. We're going to head out to the boardwalk for a second. Yeah, let's head we're out to the... We're going to kind of weave up and down. Or should we go down through here? Yeah, let's cut down through here and then out to the boardwalk. Or where, wherever like the... the music will be away Yeah, from. that's right. <laughs> yeah, let's... Basically. And wow, look at this. Here. Oh, some funnel cake. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Cake. Exotic drinks. Wow. This I is mean, kind of a... I'm, I'm a little chilly, so I don't Yeah, really you want, want another a... shirt? No, but I don't want an exotic cold drink right now, is what I'm right. trying to say. I'm, I'm right. not ready for that. But oh my God, I don't want to just. The Eldorado uh, Arcade and the Auto Scooter is an open today. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look, can you yeah. peek through? Oh, yeah, looks like they're working on it, huh? Looks like they're working on it in there. Wow. This is the arcade, the auto scooters up front. Yeah, but they're, they, I, I noticed one from the train that they was closed today. Yeah. But let me go back into the history of Coney Island. So after World War II, Coney Island started to decline in popularity. But, you know, a couple of the amusement parks closed, but Astroland opened. And Astroland is a place that actually operated the cyclone for, for a number of years 
um, you know, the city bought the cyclone so it wasn't demolished when it went into a period of decline because they were just going to tear the whole cyclone down, which would have been a travesty. Right, they couldn't do that. An absolute hat, travesty. They couldn't do it. But Astroland, don't look, they're just trying to grab yeah. people in. Yeah, barkers. Yeah, the barkers, yeah. The, the barkers. Oh, my God. Oh, More here's people. the Coney Island walls. Okay. You want to show that for a sec? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. My glasses are fogging up because it's kind of chilly. Yeah. Oops. Extra chilly. So here's the scene. Here's the scene. I'm going to give a, a little hint to someone if they pick it out in the screen what's going to be happening later. Right. You'll be able to pick out in the screen <laughs> maybe where we're headed later. Yes. But so, then this, these are the um, nice little art walls that they did for Coney Island. Where yep. different artists decorated these walls. I'm gonna just, I need to put one of the cameras away. It's getting a yeah, little heavy on me. Yeah, and you want another shirt? Oh yeah, but that's what we'll go back to Wonder Wheel for. Okay, you could put a oh, shirt no, on if you want. Oh no, you wear a shirt now? No, no, All right. no. All right guys, so this is, uh, yeah, old school happy times, right? I'm gonna take this, can you hold that? Mm-hmm, I like these animals, look at a Coney Island. Art walls this year are honoring Coney Island creatures past and present. Oh, huh? I like you. You know I love creatures. Yeah, look at this. You got a doggo up there on top. Look at this. This is really nice. It's done by Marie Roberts. Oh, do you hear that, James? The step right up? Yeah, step right up, right? Yeah. Yeah, Coney Island's fun. Financial rearrangement, inevitable, you got it. And the hand-painted murals are perfect. Here we go. Going to give you that upside down. Going to hand you that the wrong way. I'm really... So, I just want to show kind of the de devastation of this store equities yep. that bought a lot of the property. Unfortunately, think... when, when Coney Island was entering into its another period of there. decline, store equities bought up a lot of the property and then they're actually the one who owns um who i guess are leasing the the cyclone from the city and they're kicking out a lot of mom and pop businesses basically we're not fans of thor equities put it that way no no they're a big you know development corporation whatever land holder yeah trying and to get they oh, kicked look, out a lot of the mom and pops so we don't like that we have to swing by wilson oh williams williams See, Jim's on top of things. You want to go there first and then out to the boardwalk? Yeah, and here's another coaster. Yeah. That's not operating right now. Yeah, look at this. This is the Thunderbolt. Coney Island has always had this kind of... A Rebecca, just put the words in my mouth. Love the tawdriness. Yes. That's a... Rebecca, that's so weird because that's exactly what we were just going to say. It always had kind of um, like rundown, like kind of the seedy side. Seedy side. Yeah, like that was an old hotel, right? Look. Yeah. That's that used there. to be the Shore Hotel, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and it always had this like um, downtrodden, uh, seedy, yeah, yeah, tawdry, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, back in the day, it was like. Oh, what like, did that sign say? Okay, where's where, what? Which sign is that? Let's see. Uh, Williams Candy. Oh, Williams Candy. We're going to go to that now. That's where we're heading. Yeah. Yeah, you That's see That's another work? lovely, lovely mom and pop owned business. Yeah. We're always about trying to, I mean, granted we love Nathan's. Nathan's started out as a mom and pop business. Right. But Nathan's is no longer a mom and pop business. Now, you know, they're, they're corporate owned. Yeah, it's a big thing, but we, right. but we squint a little. Out. Yeah, we squint a little because... We close our eyes a little. Oh, you, know, you got to shoot this, honey. You got the good camera out? Uh, what, George Julio? Yeah. Oh, no, I put it away, Here, but I'll... we'll get it out again. Yeah. So, Guys, we're going to get a little photo of the stuff we like. Here we go, honey. Good. So you, why don't we put it down on those see, there's, mat here? There's a lot of construction going on. Hold on. You see? This is opening day, Coney Island. Yep, hold on. Yep. You want to get the camera out? I'll, I'll get it. I'll, put, I'll hold that one. I'm going to put this one around my neck. Sorry, guys, for the crappy camera work right here. <laughs> we're just getting, uh, we're watching uh, just building and 
Let's seal that up. I'll put it on my back. All that's right. sealed up. It looks like a bird got to it. Look, yeah, a bird that, got to my bag. That's always, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. How you doing with the uh, umbrellas here? Not too good, huh? I got to do it in two pieces, I think. All right. This right? What do you beautiful. think? Yeah. Carla's getting a picture. We're gonna, we're gonna need the external battery. Okay, got it. Just give me a second yeah, on that. Yeah, Paul. Looks like they got a little more work to do. A little more work to do. Yeah. Bye, Sammy. Have a good rest of the day. Yeah, Christian, the signs are crazy, aren't they? Yeah, you got it. He's coming back, hon. Banksy's largest artwork was just auctioned. Alright, now we gotta get the external battery, you say. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got more things going on here than, uh... I guess they planned on being open on opening day, but... Yeah, if Hudson was here, he'd be all over the food, right, hon? Who's that? If Hudson, Hudson was here, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, forget it. You know, he loves hot dogs. So then we gotta kill the, uh, so, yeah. we gotta kill the other battery. Yeah, which one's that? We gotta kill this. All right, so, Mike Wise guy, we're switching over, guys. Wait, not yet, not All yet. All right. Hold on. Yeah, we... Just watch this stuff, too. Yeah. I'm right here. Yeah, the beach is free, you got it. Hey, JK, JK. Okay, hold on, guys. Here we go. Now we're going to be behind the mic. Yeah, we're going to be a uh, different mic. Just on that. I'm staring right at it. Okay. And we're going to have to put all these away now. Unless we see something, you know what I'm saying? And this has to come off. Okay. I think and we're doing it. I think we're good, right? Here we go. Take that. I'm going to hold these. Let's pack that up. Guys, a little technical stuff here. Okay, so what we did, guys, is we're getting, because it's colder, the, um, the battery gets worn down. Yeah. So now we switch to our mic from our iPhone instead of a uh, wireless. Okay, guys? Yeah. Here we go. That's our other camera. Dutch Maz is saying something here. Let's see. Ah, oh, cool. All right, so now we're set. Oh, Dutch Maz says he's about to ride the Thunderbolt right now. Oh, he's here? Yeah, he's over there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's over there. He's uh, letting everybody know. <laughs> right? Oh. Honey? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, letting everybody know, right? Wow. Yeah, look at Peach Clam. Oh, I like that. So, look at the, the corn is steaming, guys. Yeah, look at that. Hot. Yeah. yeah, look at Extra that. Extra good. Extra good. You want to think of a peach clam? Here we go. Oh, here's Williams. They got a new sign. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, they have the candy apples, the jelly apples. Look at them all. Wow. Oh, my God, guys. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, you could get whatever, any, anything you need is right in here. I'm going to go behind me 
If they don't, yeah, I'm gonna get out of the way. Guys, Coney Island, you gotta tell, I mean. Opening day, 2021, Coney Island. Let's see if you get yelled at, huh? Yeah. Carla's back there, getting a picture of Williams Candy. They put up a new sign. We had just posted on our Instagram. It was a, uh, it was a banner, you know, a, a awning, vinyl awning. Now it looks good. Hello, big dog. Hello, road runner. Rebecca, you got it. Good, Carlos, run it out of there. Remember, they can only hear you back here. Okay, well, I got picture of the window. Yeah, USA flag, you got it. Home of the international hot dog. Opening day. Everybody's pumped up. Yeah, the new sign looks better, doesn't it, Dave? Thanks for all those screenshots too, Dave. Yeah, the new sign's looking good. A little neon in the window. I could smell it. Carla's saying it smells amazing. There's a sign for the Thunderbolt they're building. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want to dip in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. I got it kind of balanced oh, you, there. Why don't, oh, yeah. I got uh, why, it. What are you going to do with that? Why, why don't you film that? Okay. All right. Here okay. We go. So, on. guys, we're going to go inside. Hold on. I'm getting it go set. Ahead. Williams Candy. Now this is a family owned business. So these are the kind of places that we like to support, not boo to Thor equities. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I, I can describe, is it okay if I live stream in here? Would that be okay? Okay. I didn't want to just, you know, go ahead and start uh, filming away. But I, I wish I could just describe, well, I'm trying to describe the smell when you walk into this store. It is a combination of fresh popcorn, which, by the way, the buttery popcorn, it smells so good. And the delicious smell of like, I guess you could say like you can smell the toasted, um, the, 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 probably the, the nuts and all the the toppings that the sweetness so it's a combination of sweet and perhaps possibly salty and butter all the, i mean i guess yeah that would be the best way to describe it so try to wrap all those smells into one of sweet salty coconut because look at all those candy apples these oh yeah diabetic heaven marion saying yes i i would i would have to agree with you so they make all the homemade candies right here on the premises using all family recipes and then they sell also candies by the pound over here and also all these like mints old timey candies like look at that bits of honey do you see that mary jane's candy corn chocolate pestles look at that watermelon rings and peach rings that's something i don't even remember oh this is the only country in the world that has independent bill of rights and constitution. Yes. And then salted <laughs> pistachios, walnuts, salt water taffy. Oh. Look at that. Look at this sign. Candy apples, Williams Candy, Coney Island. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I love that. Oh, I got to get one of those. We got to help support. Even if we don't want to be in diabetic heaven, you can always marry and get a t-shirt. So that's the, that's the extra good thing. Peanut brittle. I mean, I can't even describe everything that's 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 here. So I think, what should we get? So look, here's the price list to give you an idea. Very reasonable too. Jelly apples, four fifty. Caramel apples, five. Then of course is cotton candy, candy buttons, marshmallow stick. I think we should get a marshmallow stick. Don't you think, James? Marshmallow stick. That sounds like a way to go. That sounds like a way to go for us too. See, he's getting a marshmallow stick too. The marshmallows on a stick, those are, those are the extra, extra, extra good. So we'll definitely get a marshmallow, marshmallow stick. 
And I think, look at how cute that, don't you like that little apple? Let me get a picture of you in here, green one. Okay. Just right, right here. Right here, okay. Mm. James is getting a picture of me. Oh my God, that's great. That's great. So we're gonna wait our turn because there's a two molars left, not worth the risk, Paul McDonough said. Oh, she's ready for me. Okay. Do you have, um, are those unisex, the t-shirts? Do you have a, a men's, like, I mean, a, a size small? So I think a small um, would be, uh, I'd like a size small. And also I want to get a marshmallow stick as well. Oh yeah, perfect size small. Yes, could you? What do they have? Oh, I gotta go with the I gotta go with candy coated. That will look extra good, extra good in the picture. Why not? Oh, 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 oh no, you're good. You're good. I want that sprinkle. Sprinkles. Here we go. And then if you have it, uh, an endocrinology appointment. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. And wait. The dentist. A dental appointment. Dental, yeah. Especially if you get a jewel breaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never met a sweet I didn't like. Right, eh? That's a good one. We were here before, and the candy apple was to die for. Oh, my God. Oh, they nice. They are. They are. Okay, I got it. Uh, you can leave it there. I'm just going to put my bag down. i got to get my bag wallet. <laughs> it's on the ground. Yeah. The other one that's awesome is that it has is the uh, the coated marshmallow stick. That's what I'm getting. Uh, that's what I'm that's getting. That's what we're getting. That's my favorite. Because it's like it's edible oh. all at once, whereas the candy apple is big. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to tackle the candy apple with a fork and knife. Exactly. That's uh, what yeah. Yeah. Welcome, guys. Enjoy. Thank you. You too. Happy opening day. Yes. See you guys later. Yeah. Thank Thanks, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, he's the best, me. James, you think that? Wait, I want to get a shot of you here. Oh, yeah. Let me show. Let me have a. Let me show on the t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, hang on. No, no. I want to get a photo. Okay. Yeah. I get a. All right. I'm gonna open the t-shirt and my and my uh, apple. Yep. And, uh, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, my yep. Oh, my Williams candy t-shirt. I don't think. Yeah. No, no, I got it all. Here we go. Perfect. Got it. Got it. Wait, wait. A little less. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. Williams Candy One. Williams Candy Shop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making sure I'm not blocking anybody. They wants to run in and get their stuff. Place is spotless, guys. Oh, thanks, Big Dog Pound. Oh, good. Yeah, you want a finale on the stick? All right. This place has been here for so many years. Oh, yeah. So, yes, it was. Honey, this is the one that's been here for decades. Ask them how long. No, no, this. We have photos from everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 1941. I used to walk by here, my mother said, don't even look. <laughs> right. It's the truth. The dentist needs a new yacht. Exactly. <laughs> he needs new... Come on. If you eat one of those candy apples, your, your dentist, your cats, everything's coming out. And your dentist is like... You already know. <laughs> <laughs> your mother over there, are you nuts? Yeah. Okay, you 1941. We got another gift. Oh. 
Okay, so we got to try. Cynthia Thompson, four ninety nine. Buy something for Hudson. Oh, we will. But yep. first, I got to try this. Uh oh, yeah, I'm tangled here. Hang on, guys. Untangled. Well, there we go. Okay. Cynthia Thompson, excellent job. Jimmy. Hudson appreciates it. Here we go. Okay, we got to try it right here. Right? Yeah. Wait, I got to get the, there we go. Oh, yeah, you got to get behind it, kind of. So, yeah, that's good. Can they hear you? Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that thing, guys. Coney Island, opening day. Yep, have a great weekend, Big Dog Pound. Thanks for stopping by. Extra sweet, extra good. <laughs> extra good. Oh, my God, so good. Yeah, Jimmy Town, right? Can't hear Carla too well. Yep, let me hear Just put it in front of the now mm. talk. Extra good. Extra sweet. What it is, it's a toasted marshmallow. <laughs> mm. Jimmy's are and flying then it everywhere. Has Candy coating, the jelly apple coating. So oh like, my God. What's on the candy apple? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, I'm stuck on the mic. Yeah, you're in the mic. So, it's marshmallow, then yeah, the candy right? apple coating, and then sprinkles on top of that. Yeah. So, it's very extra. Very extra, extra. sweet. Wow. But that's what makes it good. Yeah. But it's a snack that you can have that's like. So many oh. calories, yeah, Carla. Yeah. Jim has to worry about that. Yeah, Jay, Annie P said, stop drooling James. You guys are right on top of things today. That's what I was going to say. All right, I'm going to save. I don't need all this sugar rush right now. I'm going to save part of it for later. James is uh, munching on his broccoli florette right now. Oh, yeah. Over in the corner, all sad. Got a sad penguin over there in the corner eating his broccoli florette. But I got the T-shirt, too, so that's extra good. Yeah. All right, so oh, now. Oh, yeah, and take a good, have a good one. Enjoy your new bike. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go out to the water. We're gonna come back down and go to. Go to Wonderville. Yeah, no, in Nathan. In Nathan. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, that was so good. Yeah. Carla's handing me another blo a broccoli florette. Yeah. If I'm lucky, she puts a little dab of ranch on it, just a touch, <laughs> and I'm good to go. So you know. Yeah, that's what Christian was saying that too. Do I, should I move this one of the garbage away and yeah, just look at that. this? I think I need this. Luscious hot pizza. Look at him. Yeah, here, take a picture. Yo, you got your camera. Oh, there's people on there. Oh, that's where I'm, you didn't know the Dutch guy said he was on the... Dutch mask. Dutch yeah, mask, yeah, is he streaming? I don't know. Can anyone tell us? I didn't even know this thing was working. Hey, Cena. Yeah, they go up and down and around. And... Honey, let's go. Uh... No, you got it. Take your time. All the dentists, all the dentists are lined up outside Williams Candy. They're flipping through. Uh, there should be a roller deck. New yacht upholstery catalog. Oh, Dutch is not streaming, Ralph Rosa said. Dutch is not streaming. Paul McDonough said he went on the Thunderbolt in 2019, still recovering. Oh, look, guys, He's I want to show you the, the cute bag, too. Yeah, I love New York with that 70s kind of love font. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're going to walk out to the, to the boardwalk now. Yes, to the boardwalk. And then we're going to cut back in. We're going to weave our way through Coney Island. And just having that little bit of sugar has warmed me up. I don't Marian know Marion said, oh, Carly, you're sweet enough. Oh, oh Marion, that's great. That's fun. There's the old parachute drop. Yes. That's the old parachute drop, Carla. Oh, Dutch streamed earlier. Oh, he was streaming earlier, so now, gotcha. he's, now he's just... Now he's going recovering. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's kind of a gray day. You know? Oh, wow, look at that. Wow, wow, upside down. That might, that might be tough to, how, you know, don't, you don't drop your phone while you're streaming. Oh, crap, twist. look at I... this. Wow. Yeah, we'll go by the cyclone again. We started there. I'm trying my best here. Holy crap, look at that thing. Hey, Jimmy, why don't you give me this? 
Sure. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Are they coming back? I think it's just one swoop, right? Maybe? Yeah, the oh, sky's done? pretty today. Well, I don't know. They're up top, right? No. I think they go, they come down there. Let's go down there. I missed that. I wasn't ready for it, you know? Guys, this is a big deal here. Coney Island opening day. It's been uh, a rough year without it, right, honey? It was closed. It's been closed. Oh, the yeah, amusements, they can't hear you. The amusements have been closed since October 2019. This is the first day that they're reopened since October 2019. Because all through 2020, everything Ooh. was entirely closed for the whole season. Yeah. And in the Wonder Wheels 101 year history, this is the only time they've ever been closed. I mean, except for increment weather, you know, that they would closed for like a day or something like that. But for an entire season, 2020 was the first year that they ever oh, had to do that. Yeah. There's the Wonder Wheel straight on. Exactly. Edge on. I'm going to zip my jacket up once I get a chance Yeah, here. it's still getting a little yeah. chilly. At least it's honest. not snowing. You got it, Patrick. Yeah. Thank God for the little things, right? Yeah, I keep on looking for my, my wireless mic, but I don't have the wireless mic on anymore. Yeah. So um, I'm going to give you back this because it right. doesn't look like that's starting up anytime soon. Yeah, yet. put that around my neck. There we go. And uh, I'm going to have to put on another layer, I think. Yeah, we'll get up here out of the wind a little. Yeah, the loss of revenue was probably staggering for these guys. I mean, you know, and to be honest, I think it was a little unfair, especially for Wonder Wheel, that being that Wonder Wheel is entirely outside, you know, the, just the Wonder Wheel ride itself, that they had to make him stay closed for the entire 2020 season. Yeah, I mean. Because the, the cars are 10 feet apart, I think. So that, that goes, you know, that's supposed to be six feet apart also. Just in that in itself, it was already separated. And at least they could have opened on limit capacity, just the Wonder Wheel maybe, just to make some sort Very of Very unfair, people are chiming in. Yeah, so I think that was really, really wrong. I mean, I understand some of the rides maybe can't socially distance that well. I didn't say that the city should have allowed all of the rides. So Here, let's look. The Wonder Wheel? Yeah. I mean, it's entirely outside. You run your own little self-contained car which is open to the air, and nobody would be sitting next to you except for somebody that's in your own family. So I don't know why wow, they're that that's open. No, it's kind of disturbing. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little uh, unfair. Yeah. A little unfair. So yeah, we'll have to... Um... Oh, is oh, it starting again? Oh, it's starting again. Get, get yeah, ready. here's this. Yeah, give, me, give me that. Yeah. Go, go, go. Look there at these go. guys. Yeah, Chris, that's not my cup of tea right there. I gotta tell you that. No. <laughs> I might spill my coffee. I don't know. More than that. Yeah, I might spill more than that, Carla's saying. Yeah, she knows me. She does. She can't, you know. Yeah, you hear them screaming. That screaming doesn't... That's not fake. <laughs> that's not fake screaming, right? Someone's saying a big yes. They'd love it. Carla could get on there. I, I don't mind that stuff. I'm, I mean, I'll I gotta do zip anything. my jacket, hun. Can you yeah. help me out here? Okay, hold on, because I got both. Put that cameras. around my neck. Oh, I got look, both we could have seen the whole thing right I'm here. I'm gonna take. Yeah, I got this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this from around your neck. Oh. Without smacking you in the head with it. Okay. There we go. And but, I'm gonna put it around my neck. Oh, you I'm don't need another jacket. layer. Oh, okay. I'm gonna zip in and see how I do. Oh, okay, so Jimmy's zipping up. You gotta get another. It's not layer the drop, out, but right? the G's at the bottom. Yes, Marion. Oh, they're going back up. Oh, they're going, going, go. They're going. No. no, no, they're getting along. No, no, they're going up. Oh, they're going up again. Okay, so here, I gotta I'll get take ready. That. Here, you take this. No, no, no. Just, right, just get it. it, get it going. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to handle the going up. Oh my God. These are natural screens, guys. We're not enhancing them. Exactly. Look at this, guys. Oh my God. 
Hey, it's me. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Marion. She says she needs to be unconscious before she goes on it. Wow. Some people's idea of fun, I guess, huh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Holy crow. Eat gads. <laughs> I'm going to get a little racy today if I have a hot dog. Yeah. That's my racy day. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little, you know. This seems ridiculous. I'm so terrified of roller coasters, Tani, saying. Wow. This, the seats are high on the platform. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yes, they yeah, are. That's a, that's a trip and a yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, they are high on the platform. Is This is the fastest cover all I ever went on, Paul um, McDonough saying. Oh, wait. Wait, here comes another one. Get ready. They're doing it again. Here. Here they go, James. Get ready. No, I, I, I can't right now, but if you... No, no. I got to do this. Okay. Hurry. Look at that, guys. I can't even I can't even keep up with it fast enough on the gimbal. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy guys. <laughs> did you get did you get a photo photo yeah, still like also? So James thinks he was able to get a still photo as well. Oh, you did. Oh, extra good. Can you uh, wait? I don't. Uh, there, I gotta back up, uh, guys. Uh, show them the real thing. There we go. Okay, so, okay, we're ready. We're moving on now. Yeah. Why don't we put that away? I'm gonna put on another layer. Yeah, I you're think. Gonna get another layer, and I'm gonna have some water too. Oh, okay. So we're gonna, gonna head gonna back onto the the board boardwalk. Walk. Under the boardwalk. But I'm going to. Um, I mean, now that I'm moving, I'm okay. No, so, I'll put another layer on. Put another layer on. There's benches. You could just put get another right. layer. Yeah. So why don't we do that? It's gonna get chilly out here. Okay. So why don't we go? Why don't we show the the front of the Thunderbolt? Yeah. Well, you get your layer on. Here's the boardwalk, guys. The boardwalk. Coney Island. This is the kind of place like if you're working one day and not much is going on at work, right, hun? You say. Or, or if you if you are able to work from home. Yeah. Why don't you just set up and you could have a laptop set up on the bench over here yeah. and then you're set. Yeah, right, Ronald? Getting dizzy even on TV. Okay. Oh my God. Patrick, they must have loved you. See the water. It's it's deceptively uh, it's cold near the water, guys. That's yes. all, that's what I'm trying to say. How's the mic? How's the sound doing? Well, you have to talk. Like yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I'm just showing the overview of the whole bit here. I'm gonna put on just a thin gear now. Yeah. This is Coney Island. Opening day, Coney Island Baby, Lou Reed album. Put that on as a soundtrack later when you rewatch this. You're good to go. This is going to require me taking a lot of layers off. Yep, so take your time. On. And then we'll. Uh, yeah. So listen, guys. Wow. Why don't I show everyone? Now that I'm taking my layers off. Oh yeah, your Coney Island t-shirt. We got when they were an 85th anniversary. Yeah, put your shirt on. Yeah, You're gonna get cold. Yeah, the beach is massive. Yeah, it's what a place this is. You got it. Yeah. All you guys in the UK were looking out at you waving. <laughs> Way over there. Alright, I'm getting shot. Marion's guys. stomach's flipping over. This. I gotta get look, we gotta keep this far apart. Look, the sign. Yeah, this far. Oh my god, look at those guys up there. Oh no, Sword Eagle. Oh, that's crazy. 
They're on some bungee cord thing. Oh, I, I don't think that. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing that today. No way. Holy crap. No. Listen, guys. I don't, oh, wait. They're going again. They're going. They're going, going again. Yeah. And again, no screams are enhanced. Oh, Jesus. God. Paul McDonough's on his roof. He went up to his roof. He's waving. He's about to get arrested. I'm waving right now, Paul. You see us? You can see us. Only a... All right, so it's getting chilly out here. Yeah, I, I got Let's head back in out. towards uh, the big end. Do you, we need another picture or we're good? We're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Guys, the sun is totally hitting now. Yeah. There's a I put up my hood. We got our both got our hoods on. Yeah, the old Wonder Bowl was a wooden with a little tamer than the cyclone tornado and the bobsled. Yep. Here's some people out, out and about on the boardwalk. You got the old parachute drop. Let's head down this we'll go down this one. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah it's yep. Uh, from yeah, Luna, Luna Games. Games. I want like to shoot those. that one. No, no, there's a lot of people in front of it. Yeah. You got the guy up there. See, that's like uh, the, the that's like the Dreamland guy. Yeah, Dream Zone. Dream. No, Scream Zone. Zone. Jim can't read thing, you know. It's a little problem Carla has with me. <laughs> oh, these are the restrooms, guys, on the right, yep. in case you're wondering. Yeah, in case you're wondering. <laughs> So this Soaring Eagle, that's that thing that we just saw, that bungee thing? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, the Soaring Eagle with the bungee. Here, let's go down here. Or no, we have to go down this side, I guess. No, no, we're, we're, gonna, gonna, go to go, we're gonna go to the one by the Wonder Wheel. Oh, by the Nathan's, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Soaring Eagle. Yeah. The steeplechase, that's not here, but there is a roller coaster called the steeplechase. So you want to show these first and then? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Let's go show some more, um, you know, in, independently owned shops. Yeah, and then we'll take a left Along at Nathan's the boardwalk. there. This is the boardwalk, Nathan's. There's a big Nathan's on Surf Ave. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the, the let's go music. down. Yeah. Yeah, Tanny, it's big over here. Hold on, Jane. Oh, yeah, look at that. There they go again. Very nice. I don't know what I got. It's just yep. on green, you know? Yeah. I don't know why there's so much um, music. That's copyrighted music. Are we back? Are we unbuffered? I think we're unbuffered, yeah. Yeah, Very we just nice. got out of that area. So let's uh, let's head to Nathan's. Yeah, that's always a good way. Maybe we'll warm up with some French fries. Yeah, that sounds good. How's that sound, guys? Yep. I could use something warm, to be honest. Maybe we should tuck a hot dog in our thing for Huds. Oh, well, let's bring a hot dog home for Hudson that's too. That's what we're gonna do for Hudson. We're gonna tuck a hot dog in we're our bag. We're gonna get Nathan's hot dog for Hudson. Uh, yep. Stay away from the music again. Yeah, we got some uh, royalty music. You want to go on that side? Yeah. yeah. Because we don't have the uh, wireless mics on now, so right. they're really going to pick it up. Yeah, they're going to so grab we that keep on music and, and uh, yeah. we'll have to. There we go. Now, let's go back against the fence because I think if that starts going, we can see them. Okay, keep on going. We got to keep on yeah. talking the music, talking about the music. Yeah. I think we're far enough away now. It's incidental contact, the music. This is crazy out here. You see you Coney Island. I always hit mute, but I hate doing that. Hey, anyways. My glasses are yeah, it's, they're fogging up. All right, I think we're far enough away yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, look at how you're almost like straight on to yeah. the Wonder Wheel. Look how thin it looks. There's here. the Wonder Wheel. I saw oh, Richard Morales, Medicine in the Village by Minetta. Oh, cool. Hey, Richard. Thanks oh, for checking in. Yes, 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 we do. Course. Yeah, we do. You are hustling along Minetta Street. Yep. Off Minetta Lane. We got you. McDougal. Yeah. McDougal. Manetta, remember? Yep. Yeah. Oh, look, it looks so nice. The yeah. wheel from here. It's good to see her running again. Yeah, it really does. It's so nice. Yeah. Here's some of the walls. People screaming over there still. Well, I didn't realize all these got damaged, you yeah. know? That's what I guess they have it locked up. We took the subway out here. We took the Q train. And it took about 45 minutes from 14th Street, Union yep. Square, in case you're wondering. And, um... Yeah, look, look at the Wonder Wheel sign. Way down there. Oh, yeah. This oh, is sorry about that. Go ahead. Have a good one. Here we go. Yeah, it started it. I don't know why. It looks so dark already. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Doesn't it look dark? It feels like it's about 6.30. Yeah, and it's getting, the temperature's <laughs> It I mean, feels like 6.30 p.m. out here and the temperature's spiraling down. It really is. Yeah. Little t-shirt shop. You gotta have those, you know. Yeah. You gotta have a t-shirt shop. So, oh, no problem, Richard. Thanks. Nathan, since 1916, this is the original. It's true. This is the original location of Nathan's, and I'm going to give a brief history of, of Nathan's while we're yeah, outside let's of right it. over here. Look. Would that be okay? Yeah, that'd be great. Or you want to do it on the corner? Let's do it on the corner so I can show, show all that the neon, neon signs, yeah. okay? Yeah, it's all takeaway, you know. Look at this. Now we're in our wheelhouse, right here. So, hold on a second. You gotta show the, this, these yeah, let's really go right great over. neon. And then let's talk about Nathan's and all these amazing neon signs. I gotta say, let's wait for that to go by. Did you guys have fun? Oh it was God. awesome. We had so know, much fun. Oh, yeah, that Nathan hand worker. Yes, we, 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 we right. No, no, he did not invent it. It was, in 1867 it was. That's, um, that's the other guy. With the, the F, yeah. Feldman. Oh. On the spot. Yes, and they sell them at, um. At supermarkets. No, they also have them, they, <laughs> don't they also have them at by, um, the, the theater 80 St. Mark's? Yes. You know, ah. the place, um, there's a little hot dog stand by Theater 80 St. Mark's on St. Mark's Place. I, I live here in Brooklyn, so... <laughs> yeah, if, if you go into the... How was the Thunderbolt? Well, I actually saw you guys when I was coming around. <laughs> there. Uh, the Thunderbolt by Backfield's really good right now. It's ah. running really fast. I rode the Cyclone just now, so it's running really good. Which, which do you prefer? Do you, did you prefer riding on the Cyclone? Guys, this is Dutch Maz, by the way. Yes. Yeah, Dutch Maz. Yeah, he has by the way. Amazing channel too. I'm he always down here. Yeah, I'm gonna try. We have our mics ran out, so I'm hey trying guys. to, yeah, try yeah. to get your oh, sound. Oh, that's right. Here. Okay. Yeah, I just I just talk loud. We took <laughs> our wireless mics off because um, we we got low on battery, so then we had so we to, have this guy. So we had to plug in our little uh, external you know battery. Guys, we gotta get a little splitter. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> that's what I have. We gotta get one of those. Um, it's on our it's it's on my to do list to to order. <laughs> yeah, look at this sweatshirt. This was done by the great Danielle Mastrion. Oh, nice. We, we, we saw her. Oh, her wall. Yeah. Yes, yes. yeah. She has, she's doing a whole bunch of murals down here. There's a, there's a mural of hers. Well, the aquarium. Of, uh, the aquarium. They, let's not talk about the Shonda. Uh, <laughs> but, but, down the, but down the block there, she has a beautiful roll gate down there. I don't know if you guys saw that on Tony Allen USA. Oh, we'll go, we'll go check it so, out. So it's a gorgeous mural, but like for history, you're going to ride the, 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 the cyclone. But the Thunderbolt, I call it the shopping cart because it rides like a shopping cart, it feels like a shopping cart, it sounds like a shopping cart. It's a shopping cart. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So but, that's like, so if you're, if you're a originalist, then it has to be the it has cyclone. has to be the cyclone. Okay. Yep. The, cyclone, the cyclone is my chiropractor <laughs> and the Wonder Wheel is my therapist. <laughs> that's, so that's so awesome. That's so uh, great. So ho hopefully we'll have side shows again going really soon. I know. So yeah, I know. exactly. And, um, and go to Coney Island.com. Oh, yeah. warmer weather, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what happened where it's sugar? Do you know what happened? Do you know history that's right over there? It's kind of amazing. So it's sugar. Well, that's we don't we don't we like, don't like that building. No, no. Nobody likes that building. Thor Equities boo. Well, Thor Equities has me blocked on Twitter because I call them the worst landlords in Coney Island history. <laughs> but that's besides the fact. <laughs> so on that site where it's sugar is, there used to be a theater called the Henderson Theater. Oh yeah, right, right, right. And that is where Groucho and Harpo Marx first performed together. Wow. So that's I mean, and they just knocked that dumb that yes, building down. That down and like now, like all that history. Nobody cares besides, about. besides Jackie Gleason working in there, Jimmy Durante worked in there. But a couple of nobodies, you know. A couple yeah. of nobodies. Yeah, let's stick a fake roller coaster on top. It makes it all good. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the Welcome to Coney Island sign only has three light bulbs on it. Yeah, that's it. That's so, it. Why? it's the worst. And then the building <laughs> that you see, that the old, old, decrepit building from right, down the block. they're trying to sell? That is the oldest building in Coney Island. That dates back to the 1890s. It was here when the Elephant Hotel stood here. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. And, and they, they try to save it, but it's too far removed and gone. So. Yeah, because they let it they let it be like that. Four equities know? let it die. Right. If you ever want to see in the TV show, it was in a couple of episodes of Bored, Bored to Death. Oh, it was the wow. Susquehanna Hat Company and Stacey Keach operated the store. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So I'm glad you guys came down. Thanks for showing Coney today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Glad to be here on opening day and uh, support the Voderis family, uh, you know, going on the Wonder Wheel. So. The Voderis family. Let me tell you something. That new roller coaster they're building. Oh, we can't wait. It's the game changer. Nice. It is, it's, it's a proper roller coaster. Like, while I love Sam Perla, their rides are kind of cheap. So, <laughs> you know, and I work, I work with everyone, so I, I work with them too. But, but yeah, the Guderis' family run. You got to ride the Spook around. Yo, oh, yeah, the Spook around is amazing. Okay. We have a picture of Hudson in one of the cars. How did you get the dog in the car? Because we, we went before they opened. <laughs> um, you know, they were. They were putting the um, they were putting the, the cars up on the Wonder Wheel and they let us uh, oh, let have us them go in there. Around. Dude, yeah. that's like history. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Danielle Mastrian, she painted a whole bunch of murals inside of the school. Oh, like, cool. nice. So we'll, have to, we'll have to go back for There's sure. Someone yeah, like, wants me to ask about the snowball. The snowball. Um, I, I'm always down here in snowstorms. Yeah, maybe that was I'm it. Always here, I'm always maybe here that was it. That's oh, my that's pain. must love, that must be it. I that, love coming that out must to the be the for blizzards to watch the uh, to watch the polar bears swim. Oh, that's oh yeah. Awesome. And the yeah, polar bears will be swimming today. The polar bears will be swimming today. Oh, they, oh, they will. It's nice and oh, cold. cool. That's just. It's nice and cold. So. Yeah. Do you know what the water temperature is the today? The water temperature right now is 47 degrees. Oh. 47 degrees that's Fahrenheit. Warm. Yeah, that's warm. That is pretty warm. Usually, it could get down to like even 37. 15. Oh 15 my God. sometimes. Yeah, but not, not by April. No, no. Usually that's upper 30s. Yeah. It wasn't that cold in winter. No. Let's face it. We winter was... a very warm winter, and, you know, I have a feeling we're going to have a stupid hot summer. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, oh, the yeah. snowball in Central Park. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, so some lovely tours from the United Kingdom for the ice. And I, it was an ice wall, a snowball, at the back of my head. Oh, oh. You. And then I chased them down and cursed them out on live stream. It was a fun stream. Holy fun cow. Did you got a concussion or I actually had to have a little bit of a bump in the back of my head. Holy oh, crap. And, uh, but the parents thought nothing of it. The parents thought it was just a little bit of a snowball. So they thought oh, no. Of so, yeah, well, that's why they're effing school. wankers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway. Well, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Awesome. Oh, I hope to see you guys so soon. Yeah. Yeah. Extra yeah. good. Yeah. That was great. Oh, oh, it's always great seeing him. Look at our guy directing traffic out there. Hey, Jack Rab, checking in. So let's talk more about Nathan's. Nathan's, okay? that was, yeah. So Nathan's, whoa. Whoa. You're okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you all right? I almost took a tumble, but Almost went ass over tea cuddle. Thank Everyone's God. saying bye, Dutch. Love Dutch. Everybody oh, loves was, Dutch. It was extra good seeing him. Yeah. So listen, guys, Nathan's, this location, this is the original location. It opened in 1916 by Nathan Hanworker, a Jewish immigrant from Poland. He and his wife, Ida, opened a hot dog stand with $300. They borrowed from the entertainers, Jimmy Durante and Eddie Cantor. 
who were friends of theirs before they even became famous. So how cool is that? $300. That's very cool. They borrowed the money. They 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 open up the hot dog stand. And Nathan's quickly became popular because they sold hot dogs for only five cents. And that was half the price of anybody else that was selling hot dogs in the area. They sold it for only five cents a hot dog. Plus, they had amazing signage. Now, this neon sign, the vertical one that you see. James, can you point the vertical neon sign? I'm showing sign? it. Yeah, here it is. That was installed in the 1930s. Yeah. Yeah. And the storefront signs... All the big storefront signs show the whole thing. I'm getting it. Those are from the 1960s. There so we that go. Um, this is one of the oldest neon signs then, still working in New York City, 1930s. That vertical sign. Yeah, the pretty, isn't it? The storefront ones are from the 1960s. Yeah, all these. And then in 1946. Nathan's son, Murray Hanworker, just like our last name, yeah, Murray. 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 That was his first name, Murray Hanworker, joined the business and he added shrimp and clams to the menu because what happened is he fought in World War II and he went overseas and he saw how popular shrimp and clams were on various menus in Europe. And so he added it to the menu of Nathan. So ever since then, not only do they sell hot dogs and french fries, but they have a little shrimp boat yeah, let's and show clams. This one. Let's show this one too. But in 1987, in 1987, hey Toronto guy, they sold the business. It's no longer a family-owned business. They sold the business to the EcoCore Group, and now it's you know franchise, and you know you can get them in the supermarket, the hot dogs. But I mean, being that it was a family-owned business, I don't mind supporting them just because I really love the original signage, especially this sign because look. It's got like, he's like almost got like a little camera. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, I see it. Why don't we get that on um, yeah. with this? Yeah, dill pickles also. Yeah, they have all everything here. Look at that sign, Toronto guy. You guys are in Coney Island, opening day, 2021. Listen to the brakes. Yeah, that's the subway over there. You hear? Yeah, married a cop from Odd Couple. You got but isn't it. Isn't that cute? It's almost like he's holding a little camera in his hand. Yeah, he is. Let me zoom in on it. Right? Yeah. See um, that he's little got a little platter with a hot thing. dog and a drink. Yeah. And then it looks like a camera in yeah, the Yeah, he's got hand. a little apron on, chef hat. Chef hat. You know you're in good shape when the hot dog has a chef hat on. So hold on, let me get the whole back up. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we gotta talk over to yeah. Yes, there used to be the Thunderbolt down that way. And then also there used to be a little house stuck underneath the roller coaster. What's up, baby? Yeah, shoot him. Carl's getting some pictures. <laughs> yeah, Oh, Jack Rab, nice welcome aboard. It's a madhouse out here.
the D train ride to Coney Island, right guys? I had to, you can never, ever basically get a photo of that without cars in the And you did it. I did it. Okay, so hold on, one more. Yeah, one and then more. And we gotta get a hot dog for Hudson and fries for ourselves. Yeah. Maybe we'll share a hot dog too, right? Oh, yes, they're the same that has the... Hot dog eating contest, you got it, Toronto guy. Yes, there's an annual hot dog eating contest. It didn't happen for 4th of July this this past year. I think they had a virtual one. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what they did, but they didn't have one live, that's for sure. Yeah, they, uh, extra spicy brown mustard, you got it. That's uh, that's the only way to go. So you know what, up on a, this, like the two signs like this. Yeah, get it. You want me to hold that bag? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing all right. You got lots of bags there, honey. Let me show you what's going on here, guys. Hey, Bod Bod. Hudson's not here today, everyone knows. <laughs> but we're gonna bring a, a hot dog home we're for Hudson. Home a hot dog home for him. <laughs> okay, so let me go and get hot dogs. Yeah, here's this. Let's let's organize you first. Uh, I got way too many cameras. Yeah. Let me give me this. Let's go so over let's, by the table. Let's take this away. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. There we go. Let's put let's this, go. Let's put this away. Yeah, and then we'll go. Let's go over on the tables. Yes. And we'll put everything away and get you set up. All right. Because I got way too much stuff, guys. Yeah. <laughs> bon Bon, thanks so much for everything. Oh, Bon Bon's gotta go. No, just no. Oh, she's just joining in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no uh, Hudson today. No, sadly, we took the subway here, so we had to leave Hudson at home. Yeah. Oh wow, there's a long line to get hot. Oh my god. Yikes. That's okay, but well, let's put some of this away. Let's yeah, here's a table right over here. Show the seat. Yeah. James, James, I need your... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to come over and show this way. Okay. Yeah. I got that. Yeah. Just a little too much. Yeah, get it all organized. Oh, look at that up there, honey, that hot dog. Right, the long line, you got it. What you expect? Opening day, right? <laughs> Do they have the beef hot dog? Yes, I believe it is. All beef, it's all beef yep, hot dog. Yeah, big sitting area it's out here. You know, cold, cold cement benches. That's okay, though. Do you need another layer? Oh, we're bringing a hot dog with him. Don't worry. Okay. You're gonna take this. Okay. Someone said there's an indoor dining room. I don't know. Oh, you need me to, do you want to put that away too? We're done with that for now? Yeah, for now. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. All right, just get that, it's on your back. Oh, I'm like, yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. Guys, this is it right here. Yes, we do, Robert. The Annie Hall movie. The house by the roller coaster, you got it. A little sand in the fries, you got it. Jack Rabbit saying it's a beach experience. All right, I'm gonna put this on, honey. Just help me out. Are you gonna uh, take this with you, right? This gimbal. Yeah, why in not? In there, yeah. Just do your thing. See? Oh I got my a little God. pigeon, a little seagull, maybe. I don't know. How's that Probably all over me. Yeah. Yeah, let me just get money out. Easier than yeah, easier to just fly in there and in, in and out you go. Yeah, that's not going to be more than $20. So right. Oh, I'm going to keep that. Right. Oh, thanks, me. Okay. Everybody's putting in their order, honey. Here, I'll hold this in this, okay, so. and then you take that and get in line. Okay, so I'm getting so how many? two hot dogs yeah, and a, thing and a, of, a t tub of fries. One of the hot dogs coming home with them. Exactly. All right, so James is placing our order. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to wait in line here, guys. Got to stay socially distant. Oh, hey, Cheeky Lulu, you just popped in and looking back. Oh, yeah, we're on. We just got online. 
to get a hot dog for Hudson to bring home with us, a hot dog for ourselves, and of course, a tub of fries. Oh, look at that, Throwback Thursdays, five cent hot dogs. Original 1916 price with purchase of any regular price food item. Oh my God, from 5 p.m. to closing. Wow, that's a really great deal. That's a really, really great deal. Oh my God. Extra good. Never touch a hot dog again since my brother told me they're made from pig snouts. No, Tanny, these are all beef hot dogs. Nathan sells only all beef hot dogs. They're not pork. I mean, some hot dogs are pork or mixed meat, but this Nathan's is a definitely 100% beef the hot dogs. But, you know, they're not for everyone. I mean, you know, some people are vegetarian. But listen, I just saw that they have the Impossible Burger here at, um, at Nathan's. Do you see that? And so if you're a vegetarian, they have... Um, Impossible Burger that's made from plant um, topped with Swiss Baby Ray's barbecue. So, uh, yeah, go figure, right? <laughs> hey, take this one. There's fucking like shit all over it. I'll put it on a table, okay? Yeah, why don't you do that? The running joke, wait, I have to tell you that. Cheeky Lulu said, the running joke for many decades is the fries taste amazing because they never changed their oil since the 1970s. Oh God, well, they do taste amazing. I mean, I, I hope that that's not true. I hope that that's just a joke. Brad Marcus says, after the polar bear plunge on New Year's Day, the place is absolutely packed, yes. You're right, to each his own. Robert Parker says the movie featuring Coney Island, including the Wiz, Beaches, and two weeks notice, oh wow. Bon Bon said, it's been a really long time since I was there. I went on there for a ride with a friend. She threw up, oh my God. Oh no, that is not good. Hey, but maybe you can go back and Bon Bon, what about going on the stationary car, the white car of the Wonder Wheel? I just went earlier, in case you missed it. I'm not sure if you were um, watching then. But um, I went on a blue car, which is one of the swinging cars on the Wonder Wheel. But the, the white cars are stationary, so you wouldn't get sick from them. It goes really slow. I mean, really, the, the swing cars were pretty, you know, tame. Oh, the Smee says, there's me with the mop. Oh, gosh. John P., Robert Parker, Brighton Beach Memoirs. Wow, that's a lot of movies. The new Lord and Order was shot on the one wheel. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, Bon Bon said you just came on. Okay, well, you can, if you want to watch it back, uh, yeah, I went on the Wonder Wheel because I wanted to support the Borderas family because the Wonder Wheel Amusement Park and the Wonder Wheel itself is owned by a family. It's one of the few family-owned businesses left in New York, left in Coney Island. We also went inside Williams Candy, which is a family-owned business. It's a, a candy store. They make their own homemade jelly apples, toasted marshmallows on a stick, which I bought, and we supported them as well because they're from the 1940s, another family-owned business. Oh, Jake Lulu says she's seen them change the oil. Wow, that's good. Is the wooden roller coaster still there? Yes, Bon Bon, that's the cyclone. We didn't go on the cyclone because the cyclone is part of Luna Park. And Luna Park is um, owns, is operated um, and owned and operated by Thor Equities, which, which is a big conglomerate that bought up a lot of property in Coney Island and to be honest, I'm not a really a fan of Thor Equities. Um, they, they kicked out a lot of the mom and pop businesses, and I think it's very unfair the way they treated a lot of the mom and pop business owners. So I really can't support them today. I, I don't, I'm not saying that I won't ever go on the cyclone again, um, but today was all about supporting mom and pop businesses. Oh, great documentary about Coney Island by Ken Burns. Oh, cool, yeah, we'll have to check that out. John P. Um, 30 said Thor is the villain. I, I mean, I'm sorry, but I, I, I don't like to badmouth anybody, but I don't like big corporations that come in and just stomp out the little guys. I just, I'm, I can't, I can't get behind that, um, you know. 
Oh, Tanny, couldn't agree with me more. Hard to beat a fresh batch of fries. Could easily eat um, um, Oh, God. Oh, Bon Bon says, thank you for telling me. Support the mom and pop stores. Yeah, you know, Nathan's, granted, is, is corporate owned. But I'm giving them a pass because they did start out as a mom and pop store. It was, I uh, gave the whole history before. It was founded by Nathan Handworker, who was an immigrant from Poland. And he started this, even though it's corporate owned now, we're, we're giving it up to a fam what started as a family owned business. Listen, the family sold it, they made a lot of money. So God bless them. They, I'm sure they worked real hard, extra long hours. They made a better life for themselves and for their children. So, you know, I got to give it to them. Hey, Jack Ram. How Coney Island was the first to use a light bulb. In fact, Ralph, I think um, Luna Park was lit by thousands of incandescent bulbs. Luna Park, the original Luna Park, you know, when it was, uh, it, it closed in 1946, the original Luna Park. But that was one of the three um, uh, amusement parks in Coney Island. Oh, thank you, Ron Hamill, for the $4.99. We really appreciate it. He says, Thank you for going there today. Yes, we had to be here on opening day of Pony Island Amusement Parks. Support the local mom and pop stores. Su uh, support Dino's Wonder Wheel, uh, Dennis Vaderis and his family. We, we saw him with family member today. Um, it was so nice um, to see him. And it was, just, uh, it was just so wonderful to be there and just be part of it. So we're online now at Nathan's. We're gonna get a hot dog for ourselves, a batch of, a tub, I call them, a tub of fries, because they're extra good. And we're gonna bring hot, hot dog home for Hudson, because poor little Hudson couldn't come with us today because the amusement parks are at 33% capacity. You know, meaning like you can't pack everyone in there because of, you know, the pandemic is social distancing. We didn't wanna bring Hudson with us because we know if we bought Hudson, like everybody's gonna wanna stop and pet him. And you know, it's kind of like a, a distraction. And, and we wanted to just be safe. And we plus we took the subway here. So there was a couple of reasons, but those were the, those were the, main, the main reasons. So Hudson stayed behind, but we're gonna reward him with a hot dog for being extra good and patient at home. Any tips for the Grand National? Do you have Hudson and Cam to check on him? John P. Hudson doesn't need a cam to be checked on. He is a sweet, sweet boy. And all he does, one time we did put the camera on, but all he does is wait for us to come home. I don't even think he sleeps. I think he sleeps with like one eye open because literally he'll be in the same spot where we left him. And he'll be, and that's on the couch. He was on the couch when we left him and we said goodbye, we gave him a kiss and a biscuit, and I'm sure he's gonna be in the same position as soon as we get home. He doesn't move. Oh, it's a random guy saying, aw. Yeah, he's just a sweet little boy. He doesn't need a HUD cam on him when he's there because he's not causing any destruction. He's just waiting for mom and dad. He's like, mom and dad, come home soon, and what are you gonna bring me? So we'll bring him a hot dog. Oh, Rob, the pickup artist with Robbie Downey Jr. and Molly Runwald. Oh, wow. Yeah, Bon Bon, what a dog's life, exactly. Peter Soto, um, I remember that, 1987, right across the street from Nathan's. In fact, I think they filmed it at this, that's the hotel. See, that's the old Shore Hotel. This is a building right here that you see that the, that has all the um, a scaffolding outside of it. That was the old Shore Hotel, and also, that's the uh, that's the subway entrance. Do you see that, guys? Do you see that? That's the subway, BMT line. That's the uh, Stillwell Avenue um, entrance. But actually, uh, what I was telling everybody when we took the subway over is that the best stop to get to Coney Island is not the Stillwell Avenue shop uh, stop. It's get off at the West 8th Street uh, stop for the aquarium. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, I'm online. Uh, yeah, but it's okay. Good idea. Just let him go. <laughs> if he's got friends, let them go too. <laughs> I thought he was more bothered by the camera. I didn't know. <laughs> We're all good. 
<sighs> and so anyway, what I was saying is the better stop to get off is not the Stillwell Avenue stop, is to get off at the West East Street uh, Aquarium stop because if you do that, there's an amazing, amazing view of the cyclone and the wonder wheel from the, the platform. So that's what we did. So in, in case you're just catching the stream now, if you want to rewatch it later, you can see we started the stream at that subway stop and it looked extra good. In fact, I think that's, uh, J James took the photo. If it worked out, I mean, I hope that it's, that they, it took. Sometimes when we say take a thumbnail photo, it doesn't load it, but I think it did. And that should be the thumbnail for our video. Oh, hi, Carl. How long is the subway ride? It took us 45 minutes on the Q train from 14th Street uh, Union Square to get to the West 8th Street um, stop in Coney Island. It's the West 8th Street Aquarium stop. So only around 45 minutes, uh, which isn't bad, um, you know, for that distance. It's a pretty far distance. If you rewind back the, this stream later and watch it again, you can see how far New York City is from Coney Island. Like you, because when I was on the Wonder Wheel and I was stopped near the top, I saw the, the city in the, in the distance and it was, um, looked, it's pretty far. Does the F go there? Yes, you could take the F train, but we took the Q train because the Q train, we can get on right at, um, you know, what, right at Union Square, which is well, very close to where we live in the East Village. And you, you could also take the local, but um, that's slower. That would probably take you a good hour on the local. The Q train is, is much faster because the Q train, Q train is an express train, so it doesn't make every stop. Oh, Jack Rapp said he was temporarily assigned to the Coney Island subway station when he worked for the trans in his 70s. It was wild. Wow. And um, what was um, was that the was that the N or the R? What what did you um, what line were you on? Oh, does Hudson get soft dog food in a bowl of water or hard food? Shannon, um, Hudson eats um, kibble. You know, dry dry kibble. Uh, we get him a blue buffalo. It's a very nice dog food. Uh, he really likes it, and it's um, you know got um, natural ingredients. You know, uh, not just fillers and stuff like that. So. He has his dry dog food, but usually I supplement it. If I'm, if I'm cooking fish, like he, he especially loves salmon. If I make salmon, I give him the skin of the salmon and I mix it in with the kibble of his food. Um, tonight, what I'll do is I'll take that hot dog that we're gonna bring home with him for him and I'll, I'll cut up the hot dog and I'll mix it with his food. So that way, um, oh, he does like milk bone treats, Bon Bon. Yes, he does. He really likes any kind of treats. He's not very particular when it comes to treats. Oh, yes, we will take the subway back to 14th Street. Smee says must love to supplement, supplement with pizza, Annie P says. Yes, we do that as well. In fact, last night we had pizza and I, I mixed, uh, I cut up a slice and I put it in his food. Oh, Marion's gonna say goodnight. Oh, she's very tired. Oh, feel better, Marion. Big hugs and kisses from Hudson to you, okay? We love you. Big healing kisses. Uh, are you guys still live? Yes, we are. We're, we're live right now, out and about. Um, we're online at Nathan's. And we're gonna get a hot dog for Hudson, a hot dog for ourselves, and some fries. See, so they see there's clams on the hot half shell. Like, cause like I was saying before, when Nathan's first opened, they only sold hot dogs and fries. But then, after um, Murray Handworker, who was the uh, founder's son, started working with the company, he came back from World War II and he added clams and shrimp to the menu. So they have still shrimp. See, shrimp order. They have a, a clam boat. Like they have all these seafood specialties. But we got to go with the fries. Frog legs. Oh, yeah, I've had frog legs. And we have an alligator, too. Fried alligator we had in Florida. How are the prices? Uh, let's see. An original hot dog is $4.75. So it's not cheap, but they're really good hot dogs. They're 100% beef. 
Um, French fries, a regular French fry is $3.75, a large is $4.25. I think we'll have to go for the for a large. Oh my god, look what he won! Oh wow! Oh, oh you won it well! Oh my god, look at these big bananas these guys won! Wow! How much are the hot dogs? They're $4.75 per hot dog. But if you come on Thursdays, the, for the price of a hot dog, you can get a five cent hot dog. So if you buy one hot dog after 5 p.m., you can get the second one for five cents, which was the original price for when they first opened. Um, and that's why they became so popular because their hot dogs were really good, but cheap. You know, they were half the price of anybody else in the area. A dozen sliders on the half shell and a dog with fries for me, Jack Rab says. You place it in your order, right, Jack? I'm airlifting it to you. <laughs> Plums on the half shell is $8.99 for a half dozen, by the way. Just so you know. Hey, I'm going to show you the menu. I'll show you the prices. There you go. And then there's the hot dog prices right here. And the fries. So let me go. Oops. Okay. Think we'll be up next soon. Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, okay. They didn't get. They didn't order yet. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That other guy left. It was weird. Yeah. I don't know. Very strange. Right. <laughs> Corn dogs are your favorite. Oh, yeah, corn dogs. That's like a definitely a thing to get on, at a fair. You know, like there's a, like a county fair. James was talking about that he went to a fair in Connecticut. Uh, I think it was a Danbury Fair. I forget what he was mentioning. Maybe it was in Bridgeport. I don't, I'm not really sure. That's where he grew up. Oh, Dutch can be a mother. I didn't catch that all. Oh, good. Thank you, Walking Chanley, for uh, moderating. Oh, yeah, Brad. We get we like our hot dog with mustard. That's uh, that's how I like it. You know, the spicy brown mustard. So here's the scene. There's the scene. We're waiting. We're next up. You know, the line moves slowly, but I mean, they do cook it to order. So, you know, it's not like they're just sitting out there. So, you know, I, I don't mind waiting. This isn't a fast food place. This is, uh, like I said, made to order. It'll be hot. It'll be fresh. It'll be extra dude. All right, they got their order, so it definitely looks like I'm up next. We're going to get a, a hot dog, we're going to get french fries, and then a hot dog for Hudson, to, and we'll bring it home with us. Hi, how are you? Oh, hello, how are you? Good. Um, can I get two hot dogs? No, no, I'm, it's, it's just pointing down now. I'm not showing your face. I wouldn't do that. Um, two hot dogs and a large fry. No, no, I'm just pointing down now. Yeah, don't... Oh, I'm good, thank you. Okay. No, I'm very respectful of that. I wouldn't. Oh, I try to be respectful, you know. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Oh, good, thank you. A great day, and I hope you guys are doing well too on this opening day but you guys have been open for a while now yeah <laughs> oh thank you so, thank you so much okay okay so I, I paid 
So let me show you the receipt, guys. Hold on, I'm gonna put away my change. Hold on, I'm gonna show it to you so you see. So two hot dogs, nine fifty. One large fry, four twenty-five. And then sales tax, because you know this tax in New York. So all together, fourteen ninety-seven. Not bad, right? So let me put the money away. I'm zipping that up. And now I'm gonna show you the hot dogs being made. See, there they are on the grill. They're grilling them. There he goes. I see him, they're getting ready. Ah, he's got it going in. Ah, he's extra good. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so let me go out to Jimmy. That was quick. Let me get some napkins. Lots of napkins. We have lots of hand sanitizer with us too, so. Here we go. We gotta find James. I think he commandeered a table for us. Uh, huh. Oh, there he is. Okay. I found James. Hey, James. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. He's an artist. He saw us inside. Oh, yep. no, no. I'm pointing it this way. Sure, he got it this way. You can see in the yeah, screen. Yeah, still on. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just yeah. showing the sign. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to enjoy a, a hot dog and yes, fries. Yes, we got hot dog and fries. For our fans. Can you just turn that on? Oh, it's pointing this way. But it's still recording. We're going to talk. Oh, well, we're going to talk now. Okay, well, we'll just, <laughs> can I show the, I want to show everyone the hot dogs and fries. And then we, we'll we're going to go over there. Oh. We're going to show them the hot dog and fries. I'm going to come back. Just jump in front of the camera. Yeah. The direct yep. Gotcha. Here we go. Let's go over here. i to use hand Stay sanitizer there. first. We'll be Stay right there. back. Stay there. I got bird stuff all over the bag. It's starting to rain a little. Okay. Met a friend. Okay, guys. extra good. Talking to us. He's a famous artist. Extra good. Let me get this. Yep. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, so let's put this down over here. Wow. Oh, that's the roller coaster right here. Okay. So let me use my hand sanitizer. Yeah, we need a lot of that. A lot of hand sanitizer. Yeah. Yeah, we're being uh, extra patient. <laughs> Has an interesting story. Okay, okay. here's some more yep. hand sanitizer. He knows uh, our friend Godless. Oh, cool. And uh, Chris Stein, of course. Okay, so which show? Can I rub that? I had, um, just hold this a sec. Okay. I had this, unless they have those neat little forks in there. Because I, uh, Go ahead. Okay, so first, wait. Here's, oh, thanks, Mighty. Hang on. I'm move it back. Yeah, I'm gonna, there it is. Oh, Mighty the Bull. Mighty Bull. Oh, yeah, fantastic Thank job, you. everyone, with the donations. Okay, so here we go. Nathan's Mustard. Okay. Nathan Mustard. Okay. Yeah. Five bucks. Here we go. Nathan's Mustard. For the hot dogs. Yeah. Heinz yeah, that's the stink. Annie P. This is the, the, the horrible hand sanitizer. It smells god awful. But it works. It's starting to sprinkle outside. We got these delicious fries. Look at that. Extra good. Look at this. So let's put that down. Whoops. That could be for Hudson. We'll yeah, no, him. Paul, he was cool. He's, he's very cool. He just, uh, just he's an artist. Shine. Yeah, he's an artist. He has a lot of going on. Okay, so wait, hold on. Yep. Yep, Here very nice. And there's the hot dogs. One for Hudson, one for Carla, and me. And look at this. Ta-da! Yeah, we got the spicy mustard on it. Well, we're gonna put it on it. Yeah, we're gonna put it on it. It's a little rainy, wouldn't have it any other way. Extra good. Yeah, did you notice it starts sprinkling? Yes, so let's put a little mustard, let's take a bite, and then we'll go meet our artist friend. Yep. Let me take my mask off. Guys, thanks for joining us today. We, we met Dutch Maz, we met um, the other guy. It, Afras you know, Explorers. World. Afras Explorers. We saw a bunch of fun people all coming out. Okay, so... Oops. Oops, let's get this back. Here we go. 
It's spinning around. Hang on, hon. I'm trying. It's all going haywire here. Pull that out. Let's pull this out. Okay. There we go. Let's uh, go like that. I think we're okay. Yeah. Can you guys see us? Is it all, are we good? Yep, we're good. Okay, so ready guys? Here we go. We're gonna put, add some mustard. There's the spicy mustard. Oh, I should have write, written out J and K on the mustard. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Is that good. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Tango, I'm Carla. Nice Opening to meet day. you. All right, so let's go for it. Yeah. Here we go. And going in. Going in. Here we go. Nathan's hot dog first of the year going in. Mm. Thanks, mm. Nivea. Even the bun is toasted. Yeah. The bun is nice and warm. The hot dog, wall beef, nice crisp. Like when I bit into it, it had that little um snap to it. Yep. Extra good. So now you have to have some. Here we go. Yeah, I had it. I was just. Yeah, here, give me a bite. Here, wait. Here, take a napkin. I got it. Give me a... I got lots of napkins. Jim's getting something today, guys. Look at this. The, the bun is toasted. Look at the toasted bun. You got the hot dog. And yeah. I'm, I'm going to put this hot dog away for Hudson. Uh -huh. this oh, hot, yeah. This hot dog is going home for Hudson. So let's yeah, put that... We'll do a quick little movie of him eating it. We'll tuck that away. We'll do a quick little movie. I'm gonna get some. Now we have to have a fry. Hold on. I'm trying to like arrange everything here. Little rain job. Yeah, just don't give Jim any cake. You got it. Okay, Heads and tails on. for looking out. All right. Now we have to get a fry. Yeah. I'm making a little, little of a mess, but not too bad. Of here, mess. have another bite. Okay, another bite of hot dog, James. Starting to rain a little bit out here, guys. <laughs> Get in there, Jim. Extra, extra good. Yep. Wait a minute. Fry. Hold on, I gotta get. Yes, me. Hudson will be happy. <laughs> They're riding the the thunderbolt behind us. You can hear them screaming. All right. Got the ketchup on the fry. Ah. Uh, going in. Yep. Going in. You got the Nathans in the background. How is it? Yep. Extra, extra, extra good. No, no, have the rest. All right. I'm getting another another ketchup. There's a lot of Here's the scene, Nathan's. A lot of ketchups, a lot of a lot of um but they're all We're underneath this nice little umbrella. So we don't get wet. See it's a nice little umbrella on our cement table. See just like that one that that gentleman's at. Fries for James? Yep. Just yeah, push it along for me a little. There we go. Good. Yep. That's good. I got it. Ah. Now you have to have some fries. All right. Should I just put the ketchup on it? Will that uh -huh. be easier? There we go. Yeah, we were laughing, Bon Bon, when he was drinking his water and he had his treat. Now you don't have to touch the fries. You can use a little fork. See the little fork they give you? Which is nice because of the pandemic. Then you don't have to touch it if you're unsure of your, you oh, know, yeah. your hand. Oh, yeah. Hey, I, Warlock. I sanitize, so I feel good about it. Why don't we uh... Mm hmm Yeah, real nice. All right, guys. Well... That sums up our opening day. Coney Island opening day. Coney Island adventure couldn't be better. Rode the Wonder Wheel, supported mom and pop businesses, got the toasted marshmallow on a stick and the t-shirt from Will Williams Candy. Yeah, Williams Candy t-shirt. And ending it with amazing hot dogs, french fries, and we're going to bring the hot dog home for Hudson. So extra good. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. We supported lots of mom and pop businesses today. 
Opening day, Coney Island. We hope to see you. Thanks, uh, night worker. Year anniversary party of Coney Island for one new year. Yep. Then. You got it. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys.